Hi there, my name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bird. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music makes people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means little seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born with a connection to spirits, fire spirits especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm traveling with my friend the Sarah. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time. And if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lasara Sho, and I'm a pardon in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yeah. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This My name is Rocky. I come from Ronslaw. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. My first memories of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose to document a plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So, my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home gardens were raided and I, I still remember how the earth shattered as did my heart while each member of my family fell. In the aftermath, days and night faded into each other and I felt the life of the garden slowly reach inside of me in terror at the broken shambles of my body, slowly turning it all back to earth. However, to my surprise, I slowly regained functionality. The plants and flowers that I had cared for seemed to somehow remember my presence and have taken root inside of me, grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose and to whom I owe my existence, one thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragmented self. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me, and I know that I'll never be alone again. Surely, there's something magical about life.
thank you everyone You're for joining us uh i'm just gonna move you guys over to the loading or the landing page sorry i go over here uh, we haven't got a token to me just yet. I hope you, <laughs> you guys can accept this little PNG of myself. <laughs> um, welcome to the vibe in. Um... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I shall. We shall. We shall get straight into things. I'm just gonna pull up my notes because I forgot to do that while I was trying to sock it all in. <laughs> oh yeah, like I was gonna say that as well because like. When I was hearing the guys, like, as they were watching, because they were watching it live with the stream, they were reacting, and, like, their reactions were just so sweet and stuff, and I loved them. <laughs> if I don't... Hide my reaction. You, you did also talk... But, like, you, like you, there was all, it was also verbal, so it was cool. Um, yeah, let me pull up my notes. The day is Sunday, uh, 14th of September. I've lost my notes already. <laughs> um, at, it? it's at, it says here five p.m. But like clearly, like I there was a miscommunication with myself. Um, <laughs> it's actually seven p.m. in Trelew. Uh, the sun's setting and the sky has streaks of pink and orange clouds against the lavender sky. Um, we start a scene on. Uh, Rocky standing in the middle of the road, our uh, Janasi. Um, you yeah. st you stopped at a traveling food store, um, having smelled the scent of various broths amongst the chill of the autumn winds. Um, mm. Rocky, you've made your way from Amy Ducker, a port village nearby, uh, having docked there after making taking a ship from Ronslock, your home uh, land. Behind you, you see a tabaxi in. Uh, robes and wooden bits of armor and feathers s woven into the branches. Uh, Primera, that's you. <laughs> and you've been just wandering the countryside of uh, Haida Eo. Um, the stall in front of you both is a wooden cart that is pulled by a brown draft horse. Uh, lining, um, it's a uh, painted blue. Oh, it's not, sorry, I'm lying. Yeah, it's. Um, it's a red-bodied um, cart with golden trims with suns carved into them, along with the text in modern Xi'an, uh, sun noodles. Uh, the cart also has red tiles and a roof with a wooden board hung on the side of the store, displaying the various noodles that you can buy. If, um, if Rocky, you've, you're at the front of the list, the noodle clerk in front of you, who's wearing a tall... Who's wearing... Um, just normal workday ro uh, robes with a apron above with a sun on the front and a mm -hmm. tall hat that also has a sun on the front. Um, he How just... you doing with a partner? Oh, oh, uh, hello there, fine patron. Would you, would you like some noodles? As he, Ooh, as you see I this, little, noodle. he points to, <laughs> to the um, the wooden sign on his uh, cart. As you see the the list of noodles that he has listed, you notice that you don't actually recognize most of them as, oh. you know, you, uh, from where you're from, noodles consist of spaghetti and pastas and the such. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but oh. if you look inside the store, you can also see there's various ethereal gloved hands manning various stations, cutting vegetables and meat, boiling the noodles and preparing them. You said wait, these are just hands? Or yeah, these are these are just floating hands that are just okay. working. That's new to me. Um, well, that's uh, oh, if it's I, I, how do you do today, hands? No, don't, don't, don't. Please do not disturb the workers. They are they are busy working. I apologize. Um, well, you, you. I mean, I can tell you how I'm doing. I'm I'm doing very fine, and I would be doing much finer if you were to. Try some of my noodles as a uh, as an ex as a new experience for your fine self. Listen, from a from one fella to another, um, I would say don't start conversations by trying to get people to try your noodles. Um, Why not? not, a good way to, not <laughs> I I love it when way. people try my noodles. Yeah, well, you see, back in my my home my home, um, it tends to be frowned upon. But uh, I would love to try your. Why so? Your, uh, Is it because your noodles taste bad? Uh, no, 
just an innuendo. Um, what you got? You got spaghetti innuendo? noodle. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Spaghetti. I'll, I'll tell you when I'm older or when you're older. Sorry, my bad. Uh, so yeah, I am got, 73. Uh, yeah, well, older than that, I suppose. Oh, you got spaghetti. Uh, what is this spaghetti? What? <laughs> Um, uh, it's a it's a it's a noodle that is delightful to eat and uh, cheap to make. So, oh well, our our noodles are well not cheap to make. Well, they're all handcrafted, made from easily sourced right. products. But they're all they would they do not taste cheap, is what I'm saying. But the price would have you That's begging true. with disbelief. Uh, um, so there's a menu, I'm assuming, to everything? Yeah, it's all in uh, chat. If you want, I can add it to Discord as well. Oh, I, um, I, see, the, I see the chat. I just wanted to make sure, like, Rock, you could see the yeah, menu. Yeah, he, he points out uh, a wooden sign beside um, the car. You also, um, Pimera, can see the noodles. Okay, I was going to say, does Pimera page? hear... Yeah, you're listening. All of the... Okay. Um, hello, I may be able to help... Uh, with what you are looking for, you got perhaps, spaghetti. Could you perhaps describe what it is that this spaghetti looks like or has in it? Uh, it's a noodle. Uh, noodle. Multiple noodles, but, usually. Uh, like this. A salad. What's up? Like this, sir. As oi, he clips at he clicks at one of the hands, and the hand clicks back at him. But then it picks up a noodle and hovers over, and he shows various noodles, uh, noodles at you. I think I just copied like my my notes to you guys. I hope you guys don't read them. Um, uh, yeah, I can't. Read. There's <laughs> good. <laughs> he shows you the thin ramen noodles. Uh, there's the thick udon noodles, uh, which are like very thick round round ones. Uh, mm. There's the soba, which is also thin, and um, harusame, which is very thin, glassy, clearish. Um, noodles and they all just float oh. wiggling in front of you fascinating how about you go ahead and go before me and order uh why don't you what'd you say your name was uh i turned to uh Pimera. Oh. oh hello hello i did not introduce my name is Pimera. nice to meet you uh, i'm rocky hello rocky it is wonderful to meet you perhaps we could learn what this nice person are, are you a gentleman I'm, I'm a gentleman. Oh, this nice gentleman has oh, to so offer us. I didn't really see you speaking to me, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Pimera. I would like to buy some of your noodles. Noodle? No, no. Why are you, why, you You speak like someone of this land. Why, why are you struggling? Well, I don't know what this noodle is. It's, it's a fine delicacy. It's a staple of our cuisine. Fine. I am not from fine place. I apologize. I, I see. Anyway, um, <laughs> I would like something with meat, uh, but not bloody meat, just regular kind. Oh well. And um, maybe not spicy. I do not like spicy. Um. Fish? Like vegetables fish are there. good for you. We could have some of that. Well, yes, we, we, we do not have any bloody meat. All our, our our beef is cut very thinly and cooked cooked well. Our chicken is always cooked to health oh, standards. Oh, chicken, I know what that is. Uh, yes. Good. Chicken is good. Wonderful. Um, would you also like chickens, my stony friend? Uh, no, thank you. I'm trying to not really... I don't really eat a lot of meat in my life. You know, as a man of the earth, I tend to just kind of stick with more natural things. Um, oh, you are a man of earth? I am lady of earth. How nice. Is, I am. Uh, yeah, earth is in the title of my race as well, so there's that. Oh. But uh, <laughs> I will... Uh, I'll have some of that ramen. Uh, oh, you got some... Is that why you are... Oh, Rocky, I get it. Ah, oh, that is very clever. Did you do that yourself, or were you named uh, that way? Uh, my parents, uh, yeah, they named me, um, and then I named myself. I'll tell what? you, it doesn't matter what. I'll have that ramen. Uh, one ramen sounds really good. One ramen. Uh, uh, yeah, ramen. Veg one vegetable ramen. Would you Would you like some 
some extra mushrooms, some 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 other greens, onions, egg. Uh, I don't have mushroom for the mushroom, so I'm gonna just stick with just the normal, no no extras. Uh, actually, what you said, onions. Yes, onions. Uh, how about some sesame seeds? Um, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'll just have the extra onions on there, please. Uh, but uh, everything else, just as it is, just the ramen. I appreciate it. I have opposite mushroom in heart for mushrooms, but also don't like them, so no for me. That's fair, eh? Sorry, what was that? Uh, my my furry friend. Which which one did oh, you? Was just it? Veg vegetables are good for for heart and digestion. Mm -hmm. I would like, yes, but no onions. Onions are spicy. No onions. Like what would would you like? Maybe some prawns with that though, or some beef, chicken, fish flakes. Uh, chicken is is nice. I like. Excellent, excellent. And which type of noodles were you looking for? Um, not ones that wiggle by itself. I do not like that. I mean, these are wiggling by itself. You you notice the hands? They wiggle for you before them. Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes. <laughs> noodle, goodbye. Yes. And just just any noodle. Okay, I I I highly recommend the soba or the harusame. They're very excellent. Yes. Wonderful. Yes, I trust you, sir. You are noodle expert. I, I believe. Am. I am. You. I I appreciate that. We are some noodles. Pride ourselves. On the finest of noodles. And what did you say your name was? My name was. Was? Why? You make fun of my accent, sir. No, I'm not making fun of your accent. Sorry. My name is Lee. 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 Like, like well, Lee. Wonderful noodle. to meet you, Lee. I'm glad. I'm sorry, glad. Lee Noodle. Like, haha. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, exactly, well, exactly like that. Okay. He just turns back to the hands and shrugs. So how does the hand know when the meat's cooked if it ain't got eyes? I just want to know right now. Well, you see, I I do this, and you see like a, a mate, like he casts mage hand, and mm. a hand floats out of his hand, and then he gives you a thumbs up. I certainly got to hand it to you. That's a whole lot of fun right there. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad you enjoy my mage hands. Pimero like leans closer to Rocky and is like, "Do you think he washed them first? Of course. Does it matter? Think so. Do you think? I mean, no I make sure. I make sure they're gloved. I can hear what? you. Oh, I just I'm. I believe you, Lee. I believe you. <laughs> That's another good little <laughs> joke for you. That was um, nice. I liked it. You're funny. <laughs> he he laughs at you, like, but like, that... as like a, a uh, as a clerk laughs at a customer. <laughs> uh, I got you. He does that little like <laughs> nod, like yes sir kind of face. Mm -hmm. I understand completely. Yeah. Uh, well, one day, Lee, you know, me and you can go on a wonderful adventure, and I'll tell you all my best jokes, because you seem to enjoy them so much. I, I do uh, I do love your fine jokes, uh, Rocky, sir. I also cool. like jokes. You are funny. I like I like learning jokes. Can you teach me jokes? I like that. Uh, it really is kind of a thing that happens whenever it happens, you know? I don't really, I don't really plan it beforehand. I just know uh, whenever words come about, I like to put those words together. I call them... I call them puns. Oh. But uh, that could just be a me thing, honestly. Mm. Anyways, um, how do I do the math to subtract uh, nine silver from me? I've been trying to do it for so long, and I frankly can't do it. <laughs> it's as if the, the player that's playing me is an English major, because I don't <laughs> know how I'm doing this. <laughs> I will help. You don't have to tell me how many um, money you have, but if you... Tell me what you are trying to do, I will try to help you. you I am so, very well versed in currency. As you guys are discussing, you see the hands begin to start brewing your noodles. And, nice. uh, and you can hear a wagon coming from the south. Uh, Rocky, a wagon from the south. <laughs> <laughs> what um, as you know, there's only one road from the south. Uh, it comes, it's coming from Amidaka. Uh, and... This wagon is just a plain wagon pulled by two draft horses as well. And within it are Lucera and Lo. Um, you're... Hello. <laughs> Hello. You two are... The compartment you are in is rather small and plain. The only luxury being the cushion seats. Um, and there's like a bit of... There's a faint whiff of incense just burning in the corner. Just to add some ambience to the, this little <laughs> this little compartment. Um, and you can hear through the little window, uh, the driver calls through to let you two know. Um, 
There is a sun noodle stall nearby. Would any of you two uh, like to stop to grab some? As I am also going to stop. Lo, oh, would you like yes, to? Please, yes, yes, please, yes, please, I will, please. Yes, please. Yes, I'd like to go. <laughs> Wonderful. Rocky and um, Pymer, you see this wagon just like curve around you guys and then just stop in the middle of the road. Oh. <laughs> hmm. I think you're supposed to do that. Uh, he doesn't even like road. Uh, he All doesn't. Right. Who am I to say anything? <laughs> I, I apologize. It you just may see... stop traffic, but we can always go around. That's easy <laughs> enough, I feel. The roads maybe are. The... They are maybe they are important. We do not know their lives. To be fair, the are roads are quite wide. Or queen? Are you <laughs> no, see... just gonna like cough on out as soon as it stops and like run over to the noodle noodle man. <laughs> she run. Oh, she <laughs> runs over just does a kind of tiny little like um skip after the, after low. Mm. <laughs> just be like, okay, wait for me. Uh, the noodle clerk Lee turns to uh, like sees Low running towards him, and kind of sh just fum fumbles a bit from seeing this child charge at him. But then looks up and sees Lacer, and then kind of pulls himself together like ah, the parent or the carer, <laughs> the guardian. Oh, uh, hello there, child. Would would you would you like some noodles? Hello, sir. Yes, that would be lovely. Uh, let me just have a look. Um... Of course. And w will you will your guardian be caring for some too? Uh, yes, please. I would love, um, but I may have a look first, please. Of course, of course. He makes a space for you two to, uh, um, look at the, uh, the notice. And you guys see the wagon driver, who is a dwarf in work robes as well, just hop off the car. And he's got, like, a, a huge cloud of dark hair as he just comes stumbling over. You notice that his legs aren't as, uh as adverse as his horses and he kind of like has a funny walk to him as he I'm walks over to the middle of the boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you call me that, sir? Because you stand low, uh, you seem to be a fighter, and um, <laughs> you're a boy, I guess. <laughs> I, I am not, you I am no boy. You judge what he is, you do not um, know. Lo-fi man. He yeah. could be man, could be lady, uh, lo you do not lo -fi, know. Sorry, uh, both, lo -fi, neither. Um, Lo-fi partner. I'll call you lo-fi partner. Uh, how you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing f fine. <laughs> he just looks at you like befuddled. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, I assume you're looking at me because I got rock for skin. I get that look a lot. Uh, oh, is that what that is? Wow, I didn't even realize. Can I? Oh, it, no, I don't. I shouldn't ask to do that. Never mind. <laughs> you just take a oh, pickaxe wow. to him. <laughs> so just leans over and is like, "You're commenting on skin? <laughs> Why are you?" Uh, uh, well, I was... what, what... <laughs> what's up? Wait, is it actually skin? If it is rock, does that how? Uh... I, oh, I get sure. it. You are man of earth. Your skin is rock. I get. Ah, okay. Yes, I understand. I, I'm a man of puns. Even my name is a pun. Everything about me is a pun. All right. Yes, I'll I, just... I got that. <laughs> that makes oh, it so many layers. Name Rocky. My name is Rocky. I am. Oh, well, she got it. Good job. <laughs> 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 huh. Where are you from, Mr. Rocky? I am from uh, my parents' house. That's where I'm from. Uh, where are y'all from? My very house. <laughs> wow, so very Wait, where are my noodles? Right I live in the woods. So, this is very, very fascinating. Thank you. I can tell you more about my friends if you would like to hear about it. Oh, I live in the I woods. Have many books that I read, and I also walk around the woods and help animals and do oh. lots of herbal things. And I. Do I... Oh yes. Sorry. I... Okay. <laughs> what? Yes. Yeah. I just said I enjoy animals. Animals are cool. I would love to meet our animals. Animals are very nice. Yes. The noodle clerk Do comes it. over to you, uh, Rocky, and hands you your noodles. And Thanks so much. But before he lets go of the noodles, he puts his hand out. Nine silver pieces, please, sir. I hand him uh, one single gold, and I ask, Can I have one silver back, please? I finally got the math correct. Of course, sir. Of course. And I'm not talking about the gorilla when I say silverback. 
Um, excuse me, Rack. Um, I don't know if your math is exactly right. Oh, is it not? I, um, what do you think that it is supposed to be? Well, I, I, I need to give him nine silver, and for what I understand, I get ten silver per gold piece. And so I gave him a gold piece, and my change would be one silver. Primarily needs to need a maths book, is what Rocky's saying. <laughs> uh, is that? I don't. I don't know if that is right. Is that right? Mhm. Mm he's correct. Okay. I was just making sure. Thank you, I want... Has it been correct? No worries. I shall. Okay. What I shall do uh. is. Now, get your uh, noodles for you, Primera. It'll be 11 uh, silver if you want to prepare that uh, for me, please. That can be one gold okay. piece and one silver piece, Primera. I, I will just give you 11 silver pieces. Thank you, thank okay. you. Excuse me, I, I'd like to order. Yes, I shall be with oh, you. Oh, I'm one so moment. sorry. I'm no, very okay. in the way. No, no, it's okay. He hands what are you getting? I think I'm going to get uh, ramen... Uh, the thin egg noodles. Mm -hmm. if, with <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> vegetables, yes, yes, yes. Would I you, would you, would you like any toppings with that? Some beef, fish, maybe some egg, some prawn, fish legs, mm, sesame seeds. I, have... I got, I got chicken with mine. Many options. I think I'll go with chicken then. You can have more than chicken. We we have many, we have many options so, for you to overload. On are you sure? Yeah. One hundred percent. We. we... Excuse me, sir. Can I place my order too? Of course, of course, Lucera. That'll be. Uh, sorry, sure. I don't know your name. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Already broke character. Um, madam, that'll be uh, ten silver. And, ah. Okay. And yes, child. What would you like? Uh, can I, I have ramen noodles with a uh, chicken and uh, an egg, please? Egg, yes. Oh, she just had um, the. Uh, oh, I did uh, not piece. realize egg was an option. Can I add egg to mine? Is it too late to do that? <laughs> oh no, yeah, I, I can, I can get you an egg. Um, just give me a moment. Just one, one boiled egg. Mm -hmm, of course. Probably find one somewhere. Not to worry. Both. Uh, that's ten silver for you, child, as well. As an egg, uh, a hand with an egg floats over to uh, Lacera, and it just, <laughs> it just layers the slices around your, uh, your little cup noodle. It's not a cup noodle, but like it's in those cups, you know. And as you guys have um, and some pricey needs, the finest noodles is why they're so pricey. Um, and as um, Lacera and Lo have made the orders, you guys can see a person, a very tall, gangly person, strolling over with an umbrella in hand. It's not raining though, although it is a bit chilly. There's no rain clouds though in sight. Just walking over. And uh, they have a little march to them. And they just. They see this car in the middle of the road. And 1080, how would you react to that? This little car that's blocking your way in the middle of the road. I detect a possible nuisance. How interesting. Oh, do I also see the the, the noodle shop now? You do. You also see there is a uh, building just... You, you've you been coming from the east. Um, and on that road you see there is a little um, a lantern statue with a firefly above it. And a white plastered building. Well, a small plastered building with a blue roof that everyone recognizes as a phone uh, booth um, and it's just there in the middle just in the middle of the crossroads and if um yeah but yeah that's that's that that's the scene uh you you stepped in you can see the party just ordering their noodles and also the driver and two horses well three horses all together well since they're in my way i might as well stop for some water for the plants was so, that water, uh, sir? My boy... Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, sorry, my ears yeah, are very um, good. Yeah, I, um, I was talking to myself there, but um, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll have, um, I guess, 
Do you have... What kinds of water do you have? We have distilled water, we have boiled water, we have sparkling water, we have mineral Good. water. Ew, who likes spicy water? I do not like that. I, I mean, I could add spices to the water if you'd like. I said sparkling. No, no. It's, yes, but it's spicy because it says it. I don't like that. Well, what are the minerals in your mineral water? They come from the Reishabu. They are... The minerals include uh, Shio's Blessing. Uh, they include the Tears of uh, the Komainu. Um, and other may, may, they may they may include one of Lashansora's scales and that's a fine blessing I see I think that will do yes I'll, I'll have one of those perfect perfect I forgot to ask would anyone like drinks we have we have we have carbonated drinks we have juices we have <laughs> <laughs> I, I see you are enjoying your noodles sir very good <laughs> wonderful did, what did I tell you sun noodles the finest noodles in town or in the countryside no, no spaghetti. We're just getting there. We, I, I'll, I, sh I must, I must learn what this spaghetti is, and then I shall, I shall, I shall make it for you one day, maybe. We could do about fifty episodes of me teaching you how to make spaghetti if you would like. I'm just gonna put that out there. I, sh I, we, I'm happy to learn. Uh, how long will it take for the water, uh, sir? I, I shall be bring it to you in a, a second, right now. And you seem okay. Russian. Do you have juice? We have juice. Yes, we have freshly squeezed apple juice, orange juice, plum juice, peach juice. We have teas this as well, much? coffees. Oh, oh, peach, please. Peach. Pe peaches is my favorite. Peach. That's three silver. Oh, sure. Oh, how much was the egg for add to my noodle? Oh ah, yes, thank you for reminding me. I I greatly you appreciate that one. That egg that you had there was an extra two silver. So oh. five silver from you, madam. Five, five more? Okay. Well, is there an issue? Uh... <laughs> Lo, would well. you like any, um... Oh. Lo... Lo, would you like any, uh, juice? I don't know. Uh, um... Maybe I'll have some peach juice. That sounds good. I think it I'll is very yummy. I am well. enjoying it. I'll pay for this one. Uh, yeah, we'll have two peach juices, please. Mm -hmm. And what about you, my stony man? Um, I I'll have an apple juice. I, I thoroughly enjoy a fresh squeezed apple. I'm glad uh, to hear. I'm glad to hear. I shall. Three, three silver. Do you? That is three silver. Yes, from all these. Sorry, right. is this rude? Do, do I ask? Did you squeeze apples with rock ham? What's it? You talking to me? Would, I, I yes. assume it's, I'm the only one with rock hand here. Um, <laughs> yes. Do you do you rock? Well, Flyboy kind of looks at his hand questioningly if it's made of rocks or not. <laughs> I, I mean, I yeah. I mean, do you squeeze do you squeeze apples with your hands? Like they're they're the only ones I have. Not like I got many apples. Hands no, are designed I use, to squeeze. I use um little bowl and then I put things in it. Now that seems way too complicated to be honest. I already got hands. I don't need to add a bowl into the situation. I already need a cup, so uh, don't need to add more dishes to clean up later. Hands and um, a cup. Yes, I, I suppose need. you're not. Okay, so you do use rock hands. Very nice, interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will save that for later information. Uh, uh, <laughs> kind of information. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna touch on that really quickly, really quickly. Um, just cut what do you, the apple. What would you use that for? Well, uh, just just out of curiosity. Oh, I will see if I can use rock to squeeze apple and make apple juice. Oh, oh I understand now. Okay, I got you. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, excuse me. I, I, I don't think that's how you do it. I'm not sure. Well, he said he has rock hand and he make apple juice with squeeze rock hand. And if I make my hand rock, then I could do it, it too, it does, maybe. It does kind of bother me that you call them rock hands when in reality <laughs> they are just hands. Uh, there's no need to add any more adjectives or anything onto them. They, they are my hands, and that's all. Oh, I, really I am sorry. I did not mean to be offensive. It's just my hands are not rock. My hands are soft, <laughs> fluffy hands. Would you like to feel? But what if I called your hands like fur hands? Would you Would what? you like that? I feel like that would be a little. They weird. are fur hands. I have fur all over me. I am a furry person. <laughs> and I have metal hands. Look, and like he shows his hands. 
Oh, that is very nice. Oh, you have plants. I love plants. May I look at your plants? Uh, yeah, but um, don't I will, touch them. I will not touch um, them. I just want to look. Okay, look with eyes, smell, not with hands. You can smell with your whatever you smell with. Um, that would be my nose, not my face. Uh, I am not. I haven't met many of your kind, so oh, I did not want to hello. touch. I my name is Pinera. I am a, a tabaxi, and I like plants and and learning things. That's why I would like to look at your flowers. Oh, I promise I oh, will not touch. I I also really like plants and and l learning about them especially. Um that's really cool. Um yeah, oh right. I'm my name is 10 F I A D Y. Um <laughs> some people just call me uh Lo-Fi boy, but I, I, you never I hear that. It. I hate to interrupt. Um we already got a Lo-Fi boy in the Yeah, that's me. Wait, hang on now. There. So we can't uh, like we can't have two life fly boys. That seems to be a little bit of a difficult. We'd call you uh, uh, Umbrella Boy. Uh, that seems like an appropriate name for you. May I, I ask so why you carry umbrella if it is not raining? Oh, um, it's because sometimes the sun is too harsh for the plant, so oh. I always adjust oh. uh, the correct lighting um, at all times. Now oh the... yes, we'll burn plants. Very, that is very smart. You're very smart. You. Are, With you me. are you man? Man? Um, boy? well, I am, so, I've, I haven't heard of the lo-fi girl model, um... Oh, yes, but, it is in your um, name, I am so I, I'm guessing, yeah, lo-fi boy, I should be, um, but it, it, you know, it comes and goes. I, I don't think I can reproduce. I can probably forge a child. Maybe I can reproduce. I thought about it like this. Oh, you mean like like make oh yes. That would, oh, I bet it would be very cute. Do you think it would also have flowers, or would you would you have to plant the flowers? In uh, um, the child. I wouldn't. I I don't recommend um living with flowers. It it's um, it may be a conversation for another time. Oh well, they are very pretty. Your flowers. Uh, thank you. You are welcome. I that is very smart using umbrella to stop light. Have you ever you tried a cowboy hat? Cowboy hats kind of do a lot. <laughs> uh, they go pretty wide out, kind of like the one I got here. Uh, With uh, the triple oh, solution have, for any of your predicaments. I so have tried, to... but the humidity excess uh, from the hat on my head yeah. wasn't um, was another factor that I had to control. I, I preferred oh, okay. the liberty of um, mm. an umbrella. Mm. I, um, oh, I assume yeah, Lo's yeah. Lo's got her food by now. Her noodles. Her, her noodles are taking a spicy time, um, <laughs> but same with the Sarahs. It take a while. <laughs> I, I wonder if you could make umbrella into a hat. With um, actually drawing attention to Lo-Fi Boys um, umbrella, you notice that like the leaves aren't like ex actually like held together like by. Like it isn't like a pattern on an umbrella. It's actually like giant leaves, that are like hold held together, like this kind of like glitchy, like glassy thing, like membrane, if you will. Oh. And like it just like it like it holds them together, and like they move in the spaces where the leaves aren't. Um, Ooh. but as that happens, everyone's noodles uh, come out with the hands. Elisera and Lowe's, and the driver hasn't still ordered, and um, also everyone's drinks also come out, and you notice that one of the a set of hands has is beginning to set up a table, but oh. before the table is being set up, you hear suddenly um, stones getting hit against the cart and the wagon oh. and the, the horses. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> You can have an inspiration for that one, Rocky. That was really good. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Give yourself an... I'll uh, add it to your token. Um, but, which is why I'm going to move you over to the new map. Um, yeah, you see a rocks gang thrown at the wagon. You guys probably are all around here, actually. Cause, like, I expect you guys to be in a certain place where you guys won't move the horse. 
Um, I'm gonna put you guys here. I'm gonna put on the battle map, battle music. If you guys give me a hot second. Oh, speaking of the music in the stream, it's very, very, very low. We can barely yeah, hear it. Yeah, I'm um, I am troubleshooting that as we go. Okay, okay. I think. But um, during that time, so. uh, with his water, um, Lo-Fi Boy is actually just like pouring it on himself. He's not actually drinking the water. He's just kind of like tending to the flowers. <laughs> but yeah, um, the wagons, the wagon, um, you hear stones getting thrown and smashed against the wagon. Oh, also, yeah, Flower made this amazing map. You should check him out and commission him. He does great work. Uh, here's the full map. Um, you, you guys can see just out of the corner of, like, or out of, of the sides, you can see these strange, like, monkey, like, hedgehuggy, spiny, furry creatures in just haphazard, thrown together robes with like two to six sets of eyes just all over their body some of them the closest set um has a club in hand just from like a makeshift makes you french some others like hold maces and slings and they're just firing at the wagon and the noodle shop as the sun begins to set um if you all would like to roll initiative for me i approve I feel like they might be a little bit upset about us blocking the road. We might need to move that cart. Um, just a, just an idea, just a little bit of an inquiry I have right there. Uh, need to be all worked together, I... perhaps. I need uh, to be uh, very honest. I almost did the same thing when I saw the cart, but when I saw that there were civilized beings, I decided not to. Hmm. Um, very, very generous of you, I suppose. Well, yeah. sorry, uh, Beth. Um, I was gonna say, can I, uh, attempt to, like, see if I recognize what these creatures are? You can. Uh, roll for me a insight investigation or history check for me. Um, mm. uh, Sophie, you good with the rolling initiative? Are you, is she, is she still having her tea? Sophie's. Uh, I... Oh, there she is. I... It's... Did I roll it? Yes. Oh, you did, you did. Sorry, no, like, it didn't. When you roll initiative, if you click on your token, it, you can add oh, a turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I've added it for you. Uh, you got 24. You? With your um, with your 24 history, you recognize that these um, are Shibata and Yokai. Um, they look like almost deformed monkeys and that have been like, corrupted and cursed. I'm just going to turn the music down just a tidge now. As well. Oh, man, 24 initiative. Really worth it. Hey, baby. Yay. Actually, we there is a home rule we have with Nat 20. Hmm? Um, if I find it, I can't remember what. Like, there's a rule I had. I just got to remember the rules as well. Um, so, they are... Ugly. Are, yes. <laughs> they are They are very ugly. And Are they the... Um, they're not the little people that I trade with, right? No, no, those are Bakoran, and Bakoran are little, like, leaf, leaf of Vox, they're just oh, little fur the, Okay, you said a name that sounded similar to Bokoran. Oh, a Shibatan, yeah, it's, okay. it's a type of yokai, which is all good. If I, f I can't remember what my homebrew rules. Okay. I've lost them. Oh, there they are, it's like I had the thing minimized. Um, blah, 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 blah. initiative. When you roll natural 20, you gain an advantage on all actions on your first turn. Hey. And that one is you get disadvantage on all first turns. Um, but yeah, all I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is with the Shabbaton. Each Shabbat, there's like three different types of Shabbaton. I'm gonna have them all go in. Um, yeah, uh, the, the yokai. Descending. Yes. I turn to Pimera, who seems to have, um, who's looking at them very inquisitively, and I ask, um, so. Do they have a nose, or is it just eyes? They have other faces. Like, they, some of them have mouths on, like, their chest, but also on their face. And they've got mouths, some on their arm. They're all, like, they're, like, just, like, an amalgamation of features. Um, I believe they might potentially have, though they are not in the same place as mine and yours. Uh, you see why I was being cautious earlier in the conversation. I just wanted you to note that. <laughs> oh, I, okay, I see what you are laying on the ground. Yes. <laughs> I, yes. With, it, plants are the same thing also. Sometimes 
you think it's something, but then you it turn around. Not. Yes. It is not. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we will maybe show your plants to bad guys and see what happens. If they are mean. We don't know. Maybe we're just in the way, as Rockman said. <laughs> Rocky, I am sorry. Yes. Oh, um, I, Wait, if we is, get it, into... is it good for me to call you Rocky if I can't <laughs> call hands Rock hands, but I can call you yeah, Rockman Ro Rocky? Rocky is my name. <laughs> oh, okay. I just, all right. <laughs> it's like calling my, my hands Lucera hands. Okay. <laughs> I would call your hands Lucera hands if you would. Oh, that's a, that's a beautiful name. I love it. I oh, can call him Lucera Hand if you'd like. <laughs> you guys are like. I accidentally slipped my name. You guys yeah, have to be being attacked. You little one. <laughs> you can attack. people towering over her. <laughs> you're all getting yeah, attacked, and yeah, you guys are just have to look. <laughs> oh, uh, my name's Lo. Lo Nico. Very nice to meet you. Hello, Lo. <laughs> That's Pim okay. Hi. Primary, you have. Very low compared to me in <laughs> height. Uh, I just. Corey, you have so, advantage, by the way. On your I'm actions. only 14. Oh, oh, I see. I remember those days. <laughs> I'm also... <laughs> How old are you? I yelled to monsters over over yonder. <laughs> I would bet money the big one is probably older. <laughs> Which big one? <laughs> one silver says big one is older. Uh... Oh. Oh, that big one. I'd say otherwise. I think perhaps the smaller one, because they're creatures and we have no idea. Oh, maybe more eyes is more age. Oh, I could. I don't know. Which one has most eyes? I can't. I cannot. Think. The bigger because ones do have more eyes. You guys, you guys are all over here. Is it because they have the bigger circumference? That's <laughs> <laughs> an area. So free. Yes, because they have a bigger surface area. Um, but yeah. Look, sometimes big things do not mean big age, right? That's not... That's not how it works in this time. I'm only seven. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe the smaller ones are elderly. Should, should we be One person can more? understand, because I feel like we are being very rude. Should while you, how are y'all doing? While you guys are... Discussing, you see a sling whiz past you guys and then just hit into the sign and take a chunk. That was out. really not nice. And they that just gibber at you. Excuse me, who did that? As you can see. There is see, a nice noodle man here you almost hit. And child. Is there is there, child. Oh no. They're all up here. I'm not sure if you guys can see the token they're all to me. Have I done a funny? And No, I have. And... No, it's there. Perfect. Now we can see. Perfect. I was hoping like I didn't do a dumbass. That I did last. I think I did it on Christmas. I think. But yeah, um, Primary here. Yeah, you have advantage on your actions. Um, what would you like to do? Um, first, I will yell. Who? Who threw? Not this child here. You could have hit her in the eyeball. You said gibbering. That's a big no, no. That is a big no. I mean, she has mask <laughs> on, but still, you can hit eye even if it's you have glasses. It's a big no, no. And get I do not no recommend for low. <laughs> to replace body parts with plants. It is not a comfortable procedure. You sleep? Is it hard to- never mind. Anyway, um, okay, I- can I- I would like to move horses out of way, and also, child, maybe you should slightly out of way. Not that I think you cannot, you know, help yourself, it's just they don't seem very nice, and you need eyeballs to see. <laughs> yeah, or maybe not, I don't know you well enough. How about- how about we move the horses in front of the child? <laughs> <laughs> no, because then horses will get hit, and yeah, we like we all animals equally. Yeah. I mean, worse when worse comes to worse, that's what we prefer. No, all horses. Look, I can all, help. Animals, every all living things are equal. We do not. You're not the close up fire children. I mean, okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> I, I will step in front of child. Mhm. Mm wait, 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 and get horses so that they are out of way. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want to roll animal handling to try and move them out of the way. May I help with horses? I will let you at apply your animal handling bonus, but Primary did pretty good already. Like you, you tried, oh, you, well. you just pss, 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 at the horses while you just see Primary wrangle them all and then they all just move. 
further into cover with you guys. You just slap them and they just move out the way. No, they're not, they're not even the slap. No, like, we're not hit. Hitting is not nice. Chimera's vibe <laughs> just scream horse lady right now. Um, <laughs> is it because I cannot be cat lady? Because, because you already are cat lady. lady. Sam's cat lady, so a horse lady. I don't know. Okay, okay. yes, that's fine. I am in the more chimera. Haha. There you are. They, they move into a bit more cover for you guys. But yeah, what else would you like to do, Primera? Um, I'll use the rest of my movement to go, like, oh shit, here. Mm -hmm. Like, turn this way. Jesus Christ, why you no move? What, you want to turn? I'm going to be talking like this for days now, thanks guys. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> this is driving my husband batty, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can just see them gibbering over on like this incline over here, or hill-ish thing. Um, would um, you like to try and attack them, or? Can I, uh, try to speak to them? You can. In one of my many languages. You can. Um, what language would you like to try? Um, probably, uh, Barit, maybe? Mm-hmm. Okay. As you start using your little Boris language, let me just find the little note I have on how it sounds to those watching. Hold you! <laughs> Sava! <laughs> <laughs> Don't end me, Sam, please. <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, Boris is a rough and blunt language, and like it sounds oh. blunt. Um, while Shre like Shre uh language languages are often smooth and musical, uh, Boris is very rough and blunt. Uh, characters on its mimicry of natural sounds. Um, oh, um. Yeah, uh, that's what like you just speak, shout bluntly at them. Like what? Uh, what are you trying to say to them? What are the words? Uh, basically, I'm just asking if we're in the way. Mm. They just gibber at you in a language. What? What languages can you speak actually? Um, I can speak modern. Uh, Shein, Okuran, Buri, Ancient Shein, and Buri. Mm -hmm. You do not understand them. They just okay. gibber at you and jabber. Okay. Okay. It's, I'm sorry. it's like shrieking, howling. Oh, that is not understand. Okay. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to do? Perhaps play charades with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, are they aiming mostly at the carriage? They are looking in your direction. Oh. I don't think they like us. I, I don't think they are friendly either. Let's be a little... Um, I'll, I'll kind of, like, put my hands up in, like, a non-threatening way. Mm -hmm. And to take, like, a step forward. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, like, next to the tire of the cart. Yeah. And like, see if they recognize that I'm not, not trying to be threatening at all. You do see some of their eyes watch you, but they don't. Their expression doesn't change. Okay. Um. These. I would like to hold out my bowl of noodles. <laughs> <laughs> and they, like... <laughs> they just look at your noodles. Oh. Anything else you okay, like? Okay, I did not know what this part was. <laughs> Tis a tree. Can be hard to, to understand these things. Mm. While the Shaban with slingers aren't looking at you or trying to look at you, uh, some of the eyes uh, do wander at you. Uh, some they step over and like kind of like use the incline as like h the higher ground for them, and um, they try firing. One fires at you, and then one tries to fire towards the horses. Something else. Oh, the horses, guys. Got it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> The first one, which was towards you, Pymera, is a 16. Does that hit? Oh, um... Uh, my AC is 16. 16. That does hit. Um, the second one, however, like... Try, just, not nice. Just pulls a rock from its pocket and then tries loading it, but like, it keeps slipping and dropping it from its sling, and it keeps going down to pick it up, but just keeps dropping it again. Um, well, but, like, the one up here it does get you and five square in the head 
Oh in between God. your eyes. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I had it happen to me as a child. Oh. Um, I said five. Five. Okay, um, so I kind of stumble back and, like, fall kind of on my butt, and I'm like, ow, that did not feel very good. That burned a lot. They're not friendly. <laughs> They're not nice. Not nice. No friends. They just sh shriek and howl again. Um, Nasari, it's your turn though now. Alright, um, well, I'm gonna move forward, um, do I have enough, um, distance to go in front of Chimera at all? You do, you have 30 feet, so 5 feet is each square, so you can move 6 times at the least, or at the most. Okay, I'm moving here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna move up to clo closer to one of the, um, mm -hmm. That is a bit one. of a steep incline, so, like, oh, okay. you, ca you can, like, it just comes up to, like, your um abdomen well not your abdomen sorry like where your diaphragm is like you can still like it's so, like you'd have to like yeah. kind of jump to get up or like climb climb around but like you Should can I roll for that? no you you could still like slash at them from that um from that height okay i think i'll i'll slash at them kind of like defensively showing them they shouldn't push yeah like i'm trying to be intimidating to them hopefully hoping they won't try to continue Go on, slash, uh, slash away. Slash away. Where is it? Nice on Sam. I'm not able to click it. <laughs> no, it's, um. No, there you oh, are. Sorry. Oh, sorry. The first one was on that one, so I'm sorry. So, you just oh. the height distance kind of scares you. So you just like you just look at this thing. Like, you've never seen something like this before. So you're just you 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 yeah like you've you've come you've left home you've been out on the in the world for like at least a month now and you've only seen normal people and normal animals and then you see this and you just don't know how to react and so you're just like holding your side just staring at it but you do have other other things you could do if you want to try um thank you for trying to save me i appreciate it you're welcome. I I tried. I'm not sure what I can do here. Uh, let's see. Turn it if you want to prepare your turn as well. I was thinking, um, I want to heal, but I think one of my heals is... You, I think your little hands is, like, you get five. I'm not sure if it's an action or a bonus action. If I can, I can check for you. Uh... I don't think it's a bonus action. Yeah, it's an yeah, action. It's an action. Yeah. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, I'm just gonna stay here on uh, defense, I think. No worries. As you uh, go to prepare to protect you, protect Primer and stand in front of Primer and protect her, yeah. this, you see out of the corner of your eyes and like in between like this little hole in the wagon, you can see yeah. the wagon's tipped over, like it has fallen apart. It's very <laughs> poorly made, you, you guys will notice, well, I forgot to mention. How this yeah. noodle car is very well made and hasn't taken much. A few tiles have fallen off, off here and there. And the clerk yeah. is hiding from within. And same with the um, the dwarf driver. They're hiding within yeah. the, uh, the store. This um, Shabana comes charging and then jumps off the, um, the cliff and tries to do a cool little jump before he attacks you. So I'm just going to have him roll a dex... A dex um, check and then oh he gets a nat 20 so oh my, oh my god, god. <laughs> no no you didn't need a roll that save he, oh. he does come as he comes falling down he brings his mace down onto you um and it does hit i believe your ac is 19 i think no 15 so yeah it does hit and it's this uh just lands in front of you and just takes it's a huge chunk to your chest, and you feel like just a shock pulse through the front of your uh, body as you take seven damage. Or seven blood. Okay, that's great. That's fine. This is fine. I can survive. Stay with me. Um, the other one in the back also does try making its way, and it, you see it's like running towards. You guys, but 10 your turn. Mm -hmm. 
So, um, I'm like, I saw uh, Pimera and Lacera both get hurt, and during that time, I am like, ugh, not again. Why do people have to get hurt all the time? And I, like, take the umbrella and kind of, like, break it so it becomes the sword and shield. Mm -hmm. And, um, honestly, uh, how much movement do I have? Yeah, when you see... I think I'm just gonna move right up next to Lacera right here. No worries. And, actually, no, I lie. I'm going to move right here. No worries. Was I going to see something special? Did I cut you off? No, no. I was going to mention how, like, when you break off your sword, uh, well, your umbrella into your sword, you notice that the uh, glitchy effect that you, and the glassy texture kind of, like, shatter to create um, the point of the sword. And then it also, the shield head, or the umbrella head, turns into the shield. And it it doesn't look like it's become any less effective as a tool. Awesome. So, I'm just gonna... Um try to hit this one uh, with the sword mm -hmm. and saying like I do not respect those who try to harm people who like plants yay plants I appreciate you that just misses yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you uh, when you go to slash at the um, at the shaban it just it doesn't see you coming towards it, and it kind of does stumble a bit as you get very close to you slashing at it, but it just... One of his eyes turns to you, and it just jolts back, just in time, away from you. Alright. Anything else you'd like to try? Um, having missed... Um... <laughs> nah, I guess... I should keep rage until next time since I already missed. Yep, yep. That's it, nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna be standing there with my shield. No worries. It is Lo's turn. Oh. <laughs> the music um... just has changed very <laughs> drastically. I think I'm going to try and use sleep. Uh, uh. You can roll 5d8 for me. I think only one of them moves would be in range, unless you moved. No, it's from a point I choose. Oh, sorry, mom. It's not from me. I am. Um, I, I can't read. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, because I've read it before. Hey, baby. Uh, okay. Look at you knowing your spells. <laughs> so if I do it from here, all of them should be hit. So it's going from the one starting from the creature that has the lowest current hit points. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, basically there's 27 hit points worth, and I think it has to remove all their hit points for them to fall asleep. Yeah. If I'm, I'm going to do it from. I need to ping. There we go. No, there. Stop. That one. You'd be able to get one. Uh, you'd be able to fully put one to sleep. The other would be. What would happen if like they got dropped down to half hit points? Um. I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, obviously, I don't think you just, they just don't get affected, I think. Yeah, I think they just don't get affected. Yeah, you'd be able to put one to sleep if you'd like. Cool. Um, I don't know, do I get to choose which one? Or do you want to choose which one? And also, Rocky, if you want to prepare your turn next as well. Uh, do I choose which one? Yeah, you, you... you can you can choose. It's up to okay, you. Okay, is it? I'm assuming it's one of the little guys. 
and not one of the big guys. No, you'd, you'd have enough hit or points to at least get them? any of them. You'd be able to get any one of them. Oh, fucking sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> I am going to make this one over here fall asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to be like, don't hit him. Uh... <laughs> as that happened, as you use like, how, how, how are you casting sleep? Describe your little bardic um, magic to me. I'd probably play like a little lullab short little lullaby. Um, on your shamisen? On or... shamisen? Yeah, on mm. the shamisen. Of course. Um... <laughs> Um, and then I'm also going to give a bod inspiration to Rocky because it's his turn next. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean that. No worries. Um, and be like, yes, yeah, spirits guide you, Rocky. Go kill some things. <laughs> Rocky nah. has a bardic inspiration. Rocky has bardic inspiration. <laughs> that, that's, that's a D6, correct? Okay. It is. Yeah, cool. D6. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. If I do this and take away that, this is the wrong one. I have a key for a reason. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, Rocky, you feel like you see um, some magical notes that like glow red come from behind you and then just weave themselves around you and then just like latch onto you and just like meld onto your sword hilt and onto mm -hmm. your hands. Um, while uh, you you both can see out of the corner, there's this one that was ch just charging towards you guys. Kind of like that meme of the guy in uh, Cloudy with Chance of Meatballs, the guy that runs. Uh, it's like that, but like you just like suddenly see all you, you see all his eyes shut, and then he just collapses and falls over in front of you. Well, but yeah. Anything else, slow? Um... Uh, no, I just moved a little um, more behind the uh, cart. Norris, it is now the clubbed Shivan's turns, and they're all going to come charging. Except for this one. This one's going to go around back. You see this one in the distance, just like hide behind the cart. This one comes rushing t in, uh, in the same direction that the sleepy one did. But they can't do nothing. Rocky, your turn. They just jibber as they run. All right. Um, so for me, for my main action, because um, there's not really much I can do from here, I'm going to run up to three, four, five. I'll go ahead and run up to the sleepy one mm -hmm. right there. I believe you'd get advantage on them, wouldn't you, as well, because they're asleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I get advantage. And I also have my inspiration die still, and I have the bardic inspiration. You do? He's, he's going to okay. clap cheeks right now. Is what, he's, is what he's saying to me. So I can only because that took my whole action, correct, to do to move. So that's your movement, not your whole action. Come on now, you call yourself oh, a DM. Right. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to chill. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I can do my first attack because I have my first attack and then I have my bonus attack that I can. Um, so for my, I'm confused. Oh, okay, so. I'm going to attack with my katana for the first time. This guy, well, that's Nat one. Um, so, <laughs> can, how does the uh, how do you do inspiration dice? I do. Like, it's uh, advantage. Advantage. You... Can I roll advantage on this one. You could add advantage. Yeah, I'd let you like add like to that. Yeah, so you'd be able to like roll again if you'd like, and then get rid roll of again it. For the, yeah, for my first attack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, 16? wonderful. That does hit. Uh, I'm just going to do this and then take it away because that's your inspiration token. Okay. Sounds good. Perfect. Uh, that one hits, yeah. Hit. Oh, you had and you had advantage is... anyway, so you still would have your inspiration. You're fine. Oh, I had inspiration. Oh, okay, cool. So I'll take that. Yeah, because he's sleepy. Yeah, he's sleepy. Yeah, he's he's that. Yeah, you... So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That yeah. is seven fl uh, splashing? I'm confused. There's because nine? because you, you're fighting in the one-handed fighting style. Oh, no, it's two-weapon fighting. What? So I have that, and then I also have a bonus attack that I. Can oh yeah, oh yeah, no. So yeah, like this, the two is like when you use uh, your second sword, isn't it? I remember we were discussing this. I can't remember how we. Uh, I have to. I repress it. So I have two katanas in my yeah. weapon inventory. My first one that I press for my first attack, and then I press another one for my second for my bonus attack. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So yeah. I also get to add. I get to add something else to my uh, my bonus attack whenever I swing. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, that seven hits, and. You just like run into the shadows of this tree and then 
Lo, you see just like his the sun, um, the slight glint off his sword as it comes out of its hilt, and he does just a clean, clean little slash on the Shaban, and you cut a gash in where its chest mouth is, mm -hmm. and make a very wide smile where that is, and if it it would like shriek at you if it could, but it can't. Uh, but you do see like this white kind of glitchy fire just like pour out of where you cut into it. Oh, uh, huh. hello. Welcome. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and do my... Uh... So is it awake now because I attacked it? Because I believe that's how the spell works. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yes. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and use my bonus attack if I can. His eyes all shoot open when when you the blade cuts in. You are a freaky man, if I gotta be completely honest with you. I'm gonna go ahead and stab you again. That is a 24 to hit. I'm assuming that. Um, that does hit. That does hit. Cool. And that is another <laughs> 7. I don't understand what that 2 was for. But, that's, uh, that's your two-handed stuff. It's like I had that, like... That's the extra damage for fighting oh, with two-handed. Like, let me... Oh, okay. I should, we should we should have we should have confirmed this beforehand. I should have, like, made... Like, we did discuss it, and then, like, I forgot... Alright, so, so I, I just, it's another seven, seven damage. When you shoot, you can add your ability modifier to the damage on the second attack. Okay, so this is only on the second attack, never the first. Okay, so yeah. Okay. So yeah, that would become nine. And you just, as it as it wakes up, you just cut into this one. And then just cleave, with the second slash, bringing it back. You see the fire just like surge outwards and then consume the shibat. And, and then just it chars. Oh into nothing and then just turns into wisps and dies oh okay well uh, that one's dead uh and that's the end of my turn perfect no worries primary it's now your turn Primary. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was leaving cat out and I forgot I muted myself. <laughs> oh. Hi, hello. Um, I would like to reach forward and like tap Lacera on the shoulder and be like, Do I have your permission to um help you? Uh, yes, of course. I, I could really do with the help. Yes, I will assist you. Um, and I'm gonna cast uh, Cure Wounds at first right now. Mm hmm. I tapped in the chat, but I'll be right back. No worries. Mm -hmm. You 1d8 plus your spellcasting ability. Um, I hope you could. Um, it should be in your attack section. Perfect. 11. Mm -hmm. What I do is I let like the extra healing just overflow. Mm -hmm. So she now has 19 hit points right now. Yeah. But it'll last. better now. Did that help you? You, oh, so you feel better. a great okay. warmth wash over your body and like feel where that like shock damage in your chest was and then you feel even great with like an even bigger boost of energy yeah and you aren't as nervous as you were before okay i've got this That's all i'm this. glad i'm glad you feel better i if you don't mind i'm just going to kind of go out of the way a little bit because that hurt a lot <laughs> yeah that's okay so i'm gonna move her i'm gonna go like over behind the cart more mm-hmm you would be in full cover. Kind of get out of, out of the yeah. Way, yeah. Anything else? Um. Mm, nope, that's it. No worries. Uh, this Shabbaton uh, here is going to turn towards Rocky and then fire right. its sling at Rocky, seeing that like it's turned one of the other, one of the bigger ones into ash, essentially. And what's your AC, Rocky? My AC is uh, uh, it's very low. Give me one second. It is thir 13? Perfect. Uh, 13. Perfect. It hits. Uh, the Shabbaton right. finally is able to pick up that rock and then pull it back and then launches it towards you, Rocky. And it clinks off one of your um, one of your arms, but it does create a little chip in your um, in your stone skin, dealing five damage. Five? Five damage, yeah. And it just like rushes back a bit over here. Well, this one continues running around the car, but doesn't notice Pymera. Lucera, your turn. Yeah, you you can see uh, the Shaban just rush 
around. Just to be sure, this is the telephone booth, yeah, right? Yeah, that is the telephone booth, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, with my guys in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, okay. Um... I'd like to just, um, try and take a big... I'm feeling extra healthy, and, um, I have a, a, a um, thing to kill in front of me, so... Uh, I, um, lunge at them with my knife, or mm -hmm. dive, I don't know. How, how, how do you want to describe your attack? But yeah, you'd be able to, if you'd lunge. Uh, yeah, that hit. Okay, she, 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 go, she goes in for like a kind of like a quick um, dash where she kind of pulls her scythe at um, at them as she dashes past them. Mm -hmm. like, like, like that. Yeah. By the way, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I should have cut you. The way I rule, um, like this is for chat, you guys, you're, you're cool. Um, the way I rule, um, attack of opportunity is if you still focus on the target you aren't like you don't gain a, they don't gain an attack of opportunity until you're fully out of range or you change focus from them so lucera would be fine to like do that little dashing that she just did it's kind of like she like just you twirled as you just like like you did like a little tornado slash almost but yeah that, that would hit if you want to roll damage oh yeah yeah, you you create a similar effect and create like a huge gash in the side of the Shabbaton, and you see it just like burst into fire, and this fire just begins to consume the Shabbaton and take over one its whole uh, side of uh, half side until it just turns to you and just shrieks. But before it can fully get the noise out, uh, you feel like the world weave just kind of vibrate in front of you from when it speaks. But when after as as you feel that you see it just disintegrate I like the other one, and that one's also dead. But they're no longer in battle. Uh, anything else you wanted to do? Lis Sorry, Lissera, I should have said. Oh. Um, I think I'd like to just back just a tiny bit closer, so I'm close to cover from the um uh the the cart part. Yeah, there's yeah, you can do that. Yeah. You can. Turn eight, it would be your turn now. Mm-hmm. How high is the little incline? It'd be about low as high, I'd say, about oh well, sorry. Just three point five feet or so. Oh. Um then can I just uh, move and I I like do a little jump. Uh, to be like right over here. Yeah, you can. Yeah, if you want to roll me a athletics or de um, acrobatics or dexterity check for me. Sure. I will do a little acrobatics. <laughs> Let's go. No. <Nah. laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys just see Lofi boy try to do like a little jump, but like he's he you you can assume he might not have been oiled uh, lately. <laughs> And he just kind of like just trips on the uh, on the incline and then just falls in front of the Shaban. <laughs> this is very insulting. It is only a third of my height, and yet I failed so miserably. Ignore what just happened. Always a small one that get you. You you'd be able to use your last bit of movement to stand up All right. if you'd like to. I'd like to. Mhm. Mm I, um, I can't, well, considering that it's only three, uh, feet tall and that I'm nine feet, I can probably still reach the little guy with my sword still, right? Yeah. Okay. So aiming at the feet, um, mm -hmm. and not the defeat of my, oh. uh, jump. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll just go for a little regular... Oh! Oh, wow. Well, I didn't actually get a chance to see what just happened. Because I was going to get the music. Mm -hmm. Oh, neat! Yeah, you hit. Nice. And so, uh, slashing at the toes. <laughs> <laughs> you cut into the Shabbaton. 
and you do take off a few of its toes. The toes, like, they don't bleed or anything. They just, like, turn to, like, as you cut them off. When they separate, they just turn to fire and, like, just disintegrate. But this Shabbaton just shrieks at its missing toes and then just shrieks at you and then blinks angrily. <laughs> it, so it's still alive? That one's still alive, yeah. Dang, I, I'm kind of scared uh, from this shriek. Um, as a bonus action, I would like to uh, shield bash them. Um, I'm just gonna put this in chat. I, yeah, I want to try to shove them. Basically, since I weakened their toes, I'm just gonna try to like um, push uh, like the shield mm -hmm. onto their feet so that they kind of like trip. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd like you. Uh, roll for me a strength check. Sure. I'm calculating strength for this action. Oh dang. Oh. You try and shove the Shabbaton, but it just catches your uh, shield and then pushes it back at you. <laughs> like, Lo-Fi Boy starts making, like, sad robot noises. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, no. Sad robot noises. Um, anything else? Um... Kind of like uh, kicking the dirt. Um, nah. Um. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor boy. It is Lowe's turn now, though. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna head on over to Pymera. I'm going to cure wounds her. Mm, 1d8. They're having a lightsaber for you, meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I do this. Does this work? I'm just going to check for the record. No worries. Um, I don't know how to. No, if you look in your attack section, uh, you should see mm. cure wounds. Okay, I am clicking, but it's not just, doing you anything. You can also just click on the name That's instead a... of like the information oh, is it... bit. You know, in um, oh. there you go. maybe it's just being a goof. Wait, yeah, nine healing, perfect. So, Sarah, you hear this little soft melody. Common. And it provides a similar warm to the one that you feel when you touch your feathers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but this comes from Lo's music. Anything else you'd like to do, Lo? I would like to give an inspiration to Lo-Fi Boy and say, you'll get them this time. Do Bardic Inspirations like allow you to like do more than one person, don't they? Yeah, I've got four. Perfect. So yeah. Well, hey. I have two now. But... Hey, you are yeah. lo-fi. <laughs> My flowers kind of like spring up um, happily. Mm -hmm. And then, like, if lo-fi boy could smile, he'd be smiling. <laughs> oh. Um, I love it. Oh, was that, that was all, wasn't it, though? Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Yes, robot <laughs> voice. Uh, it's, I custom made the, the voice. Oh? The oh, yeah. Mod. I'm yeah. answering to Valentine. Uh, Valentine. Just gonna, just gonna, like, take a little slight tangent. Like, with his voice mod. Ah. Uh, it was like, when he put that on the first time, he just kicked everyone in the dick. Cause he, cause he did it for his voiceover and like, and like when I was editing the voiceovers, like I, I said to Sam, there's no, like, I can't put this at the beginning or the end without it blowing everyone else's out of the wall. And everyone knew this, everyone, everyone yeah. understood, like, and like when I, but the, the worst way was when I introduced everyone, 
I did Sam first as well. And so he just straight out of the fucking gate. Yeah. And everyone yeah. tried to one up him, but like he he, ca he came <laughs> back. We all cried. <laughs> he came back and then kicked everyone in the dick again. <laughs> just for even thinking that they could try. Yeah. Not saying that everyone did a bad job. Everyone did wonderfully with their voiceovers. Oh, the video in the beginning, yeah. if you've missed it, it's really worth watching. Where it the is. Presentation everyone is like amazing. Um, thank mm -hmm. you, Sam. Yeah. Um. Cool. Yeah. Back to the. Back to the, back to the get fight. Sorry. Uh, the Shabbat to the club. Uh, this one continues running around, completely moving away from uh, avoiding Rocky, and runs around the tree. Oh shit! I got <laughs> like, I was about to shrink him. Um, but this Shaban hops off the ledge, and then comes charging towards you, Rocky, and trying to smack you with its club. Get it, get, no, oh, it doesn't actually. You see its mouth on its uh, shoulder just extend into this huge maw. As it tries to take a bite at you, and I don't know why it gave you gave itself advantage, but it, twenty three, does it hit? No. Damn. Hit. <laughs> Motherfuck. <laughs> yeah, you see this a huge um, mat mat just gnaw on your arm that has the body can one of the hands that, the hand that's holding the sword, sorry, or your first sword. And it just like just nibbles and it's trying to like get a grip on it, but like it, it's never, it doesn't normally bite stone. These teeth weren't designed for biting stone. And so... <laughs> but yeah, you feel the um, feel it just like just biting at you. While this one, yeah, continues running. It is now Rocky, right. your turn. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, the first thing I do is I flex and to get the guy off of my arm. Um, he holds onto your hand and like you, fine. like it's what he's like coming out of his shoulder and he's just like looking up at you as its shoulder mouth is biting, is holding onto your, trying to hold onto your hand. Cool. Well, then I want to just go ahead and stab my sword into him um, best I can. Not like swing, swing aggressively, but I am gonna stab into him. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll one second. Uh, just a one handed, obviously, because I mm -hmm. cannot pick two. That's a 19 to hit. Hey, that does hit. Nice one. Uh, There's a uh, eight uh, damage. Wonderful. Um, he's still on my arm. He is still on your arm, but he's, his grip is loosening. Cool. Well, um, then I'm going to go ahead and just hit him again with my, with my sword because <laughs> I don't have much of a choice. He's just hanging out. Uh, just 21 to hit. That does hit. Figured. Uh, another 8 damage. 8, and that was with plus 2. So you also... How how would you slash at this Shaban? Uh, well, um, while I, um, I kebab him, I just do a quick... Um, uh, I swing my sword into there under my arm because that's where he's hanging from. Mm -hmm. And then I... Fling my arm and try to throw him away from me. best I can. You do I well. Won't. You do, and as he's flying away from you, you just get like a one final slash in. Yeah. Mm. And then you just see I it. Actually, <clears throat> sorry. No, go on. Carry on. No, you go. On. I was gonna say I fling him up, and then as he lands, I could bob him with. Do. Stunning. You do exactly that, and as he. He gets pierced on that final slash. You see him, your you, your sword catch white fire, and as it glitches on your sword, it just disintegrates, and the shivan is no more. Yep. Anything else? No, I don't think I can do anything else. So um, I, I just actually, I, I just, I, no, sorry, I don't want to do that. I just kind of turn away from the scene because I don't really want to look at them anymore. Um, that's it. <laughs> you see this one over here as I you turn don't around. Look at explosions, yeah. <laughs> Trying to make himself look as cool as possible. Very, very rocky. After he flexed the monster off of him. Mm. <laughs> um, a giant tick. It is now. Oh, sorry, I skipped over Primary. Primary, your turn. Hello, it's me. 
Um, I would like to move. I'm taking this myself. I really screwed up this gun. I would like to move around and uh, get this. Little you guy do. You right can. Here. Yeah, you can. Its eyes um, aren't looking in your direction, so it doesn't look spot okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to uh, a flashy slash with power and understanding. Let it see the light. Go ahead. Give it something Give it to learn. Ah! <laughs> the <hua! laughs> As. <laughs> You just come low. You just see after healing, primary. You see her just rush off, and then you just see her just like oh, thank you. pull out her two axes and then just slash at the uh, phone booth. And um, primary, yeah, you just like completely miss the Shabanas. He's also running, and he just like, he's just a bit too fast for you. And then you just get you just dink into the plaster of the wall. And low, you just you think primary's lost it because she's just side like she's just here and ha. <laughs> Into the wall of this phone booth for no she, reason. She it. <laughs> what does she just go after? <laughs> she doesn't, because like Glow can't see that there's a there was a Shivan that just went around the corner. Can I check? <laughs> 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 <Ailier. laughs> Anything else? Um, I'm gonna move in front. Um, I'm gonna move around like since i miss i'm gonna like pick up my kitty speed and like hop in front of him mm. and stop him from like getting to the horse because i still think that other people are like over here and also like the stall guy and everything like that yeah so. yeah you, you know that they've gone and hid inside the uh their store but yeah um you can dash and s s block the way the shaman and as you just yeah. jump over it, it just looks up at you and then say, you shall not pass me and, it... and hurt <laughs> the people. It just looks at you and freezes okay. and all its eyes just stare straight at like this little mark in your head where the rock. Okay. Look, okay, don't. That was rude and I don't appreciate it, okay? It kind of smirks. Okay, well now you understand me, little shit. <laughs> <laughs> it smirks when it looks at the stone. <laughs> Hope on the real lies out of that. This is mm. laughing then. <laughs> and now that you've jumped over it, the Shaban is gonna try and bite at you with one of its um with its chest mouth oh. as you land. And like you it misses and it just gnaws ah. at the air in front of you. The one in front of Lo, however, has a mouth in its foot and it's gonna try and bite at you, Lo. I mean ten eighty, sorry. Wait. Oh, right, right, right. But that no one, one also misses. <laughs> no, no one allowed to bite. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, your shield uh, just stops it in its tracks, and it just like numbs on the top of the shield. The final Shaban is going to try and launch a stone at Rocky again. And that one also he misses. He would be resistant to us. You think so? You just have to be a rock to understand. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes. But yeah, um... Sorry, I'm just, I just zoned out for like a hot sec. It is now... The Sarah's turn. Oh, sorry, no, it isn't. I'm gonna have this Shaban rush. Get, get out of here. Uh-uh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> What are you looking at? Get your eyes away from me. <laughs> Isn't that okay. your turn? Right. Uh, Lacera. Oh. And then I. Oh, that's quite far. 10 8, your turn now. Hmm? Ah? Not, I mean, sorry, I meant 10 8, your turn next. Uh, Lacera, yeah, if you. Lacera. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I was very confused. Okay, I would go for the other one, but that's like 40 feet, and I. You said I had 30 feet, right? You do have 30 feet. So I'm going to try and get up here. I think, like, maybe a sladic. So I'll, like, use the, um, the, the wagon to, to climb up, like, mm -hmm. the wheel to get on top of the wagon. And then 
need that height to get onto the high ground if that's high enough, right? Yeah, of course. If you want to roll no, for me athletics, acrobatics, or dexterity to try and clamber on and then dash across the wagon. That's not a save, right? Okay, yeah. Stunning. You, Lo, uh, you are in perfect view, and same with you, 1080. Rocky, you can see out of the corner of your eye. You just see Lucera just dash up the wheel and then just make her way without like she's like being a dancer she's 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 pretty good at this she's um she's very proficient in dancing and she makes like make turns into almost like a sequence as she dashes across the wagon and primary you can see just over the phone booth as you see lacera's horns and ribbons dancing as she charges towards a shaban if lacera if you want to attack you can yes i shall you look beautiful oh, wow <laughs> Thank you. Oh, we'll fire away. Oh, wow. So, yeah, she goes for a dash and she takes a big um, lunge in. Mm -hmm. As you lunge into the Shabbaton, the sight just cleaves the yokai in half. And you see it just like part. And like the force of your side pushes it almost forward. And as it comes forward, it like just but like it tingles your skin as it burns on you but like you don't feel any heat coming from it yeah and that shabbat is no more any You're else welcome. <laughs> um i think i'm just gonna stay here for a couple of seconds <laughs> no worries mm. tenei your turn but, uh, that was beautiful um and beautiful is kind of scary um <laughs> Sorry, so, scary. looking around, do I, I, because I, when I was focused on this one, I'm not sure I would have seen this guy, but can I see him right now? Yeah, you'd be able to see, like, you saw him, like, just out of the corner, you know, just dash. Okay. And you can see this one I, in your prefer peripherals. Right, right, right. Then I, I, if I can, I would love to just run towards it, like so. Mm-hmm. And then saying like, okay, um, this time uh, I'll do something effective for sure. And um, you do <laughs> something effective. Yeah. <laughs> and Yay. it was for sure. This musical sensation through my body. And then I, I swing. <laughs> mm. That seven does hit. As you just like go in with a very methodical slash, you just create a huge gash in the side of the um of the shrine you see that like your um the wild magic or the magic weaved into your umbrella a blade you see it kind of it wavers a bit when it cuts into the yokai but it doesn't like it doesn't seem to like take much influence other than like just a visual effect um but the yokai however does take a um a stance on the matter and turn to you and shrieks it doesn't turn his head it, all his eyes just turn their dot uh, their dot pupils towards you and focus on you once again this shriek kind of like uh spook me so i'm going to try to aim at its mouth and to kind of like as a bonus action just um hit it with my shield mm -hmm. um Try to shove it, yeah. If you're not all strength for me, it's gonna try and yes. not let you do that. <laughs> let, uh, like, stop screaming all the time, and then, like, I. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It, it kind of gets duffed by your shield, but then it just. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, there's the inspiration thing. Can I use it now? If it wasn't in that one, I would have let it. Ah, uh, dang. You just duff your shield into it, but like you just kind of like freeze from like when you make contact with the yokai, and the yokai just like pushes it back on you. But like, there's not as much force back, so you don't you don't get much effect from it either. But it doesn't. Yeah. You aren't able to like push the yokai out of the way. Anything else? I'm being pushed by the yokai. <laughs> <laughs> it's Tenet, he's just playing tug of war with his umbrella and the yokai. <laughs> Anything else? If not, low your turn. No, no, I already moved and everything, yeah. 
Um, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> Let's have some fun. Uh, <laughs> I say, oh, out of spell slots. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you just get into a feck. <laughs> I cannot have any things. I didn't think before I moved. I want to hit it. <laughs> You like do one. hit. Oh. Yay! <laughs> you just poke it in one of its eyes. And Ooh. you just see, like, that eye just, like, just turn white. And then when you pull out, the eye has no pupil anymore. And mm -hmm. it just kind of, like, in that little punctured hole, you see a bit of fire spurting out. Or white fire, sorry. Are these guys like the same height as me? Yeah, these small ones are you are the same as same height as you. Okay. The bigger ones are kind of like tower almost everyone, but like Lacera and Ten Eighty. Ten Eighty and Lacera are very tall. I think Primer is also really like everyone's like six foot, and then Low <laughs> is four foot. It's four foot five. Um, do I like? It's uh, I don't know. I just want to know if Low can feel anything weird about the fire. Other than the fact that I mean, if you're on raw insight, you can. But like, on a base level, it's it's got like it it is it doesn't burn like it doesn't give off heat, and it also has like this clear visual uh, <laughs> effect that way. Like it's it's got like a glitch to it. No, she she has she has none. It has the um, <laughs> has like the glitch uh, effect to it, but like you can't really tell much more other than. Just the visual cues it provides and the, yeah. the lack of stimulus it gives with the fire. Same with them, there's no smell either. Um, yeah, anything else? Um, no. No worries. It is now that Shaban's turn and it is. It turns to 1080, but then it turns to low. Hang. <laughs> Hang on a minute. And it kind of tries biting low and trying to swallow her. Like, you see its mouth just go huge and try and eat her whole. No way. What's your AC, no though? My AC is 15. Uh, it just, like, puts out its hand, and on its hand is a mouth. And the mouth just grows. And then just... Oh my God. Just basically takes over Lowe's uh, square, and Lieutenant, you just see this huge uh, this <laughs> mouth come out of the hand and then just swallow Lowe. Lucero, you can just see <laughs> this happen. Why do I do this to myself? No wonder they scream so loudly. You take a three from that, by the way, as you f feel this sharp okay. teeth. Like it's got teeth inside its mouth, and they just gnaw on you. Oh my god, nobody does that. <laughs> okay, I'm free. I'm free. And then get, get the fuck off. It turns to um it turns to ten eighty and then just looks at him. <laughs> Rocky your turn. It just it just is a side eye. <laughs> Alright, well um It like it looks like it's swallowed something, even with its like face mouth. <laughs> something. <laughs> well it, like it's just got something in its mouth. And it doesn't want to give it up. Put it in your mouth. Put it out. Let that thing out. Put it in your mouth. Put it back where it came from. Get her out of there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and because this guy, I'm going to go ahead and knock this guy out right over here. Mm -hmm. Run over to him. Uh, hit him with my first little, with my first sword attack. Uh, 15 to hit. That does hit. That is going to be uh, the 10, 10 does damage. Hit. 10 does damage. You... <laughs> 10 does damage. Gotcha. 10. Let me see like what the other damage is, then we can describe this one. See if you see if you get another insta kill. Uh, 21 to hit. That that does that does the job. <laughs> uh, seven uh, nine actually. Describe your uh, your movements for me, please. Um, well, I kind of want to like. So what I do is I unsheath my last sword really quickly, and I like swing it and sheath it like in a blink of an eye, and then split into two, topple over that way, um, mm. 
uh, you know, very dramatic, like, uh, like a samurai style. movie. Yeah. As, um, like, when the blade flashes, you see, like, the eyes ripple in, like, a wave. As if, like, it's blinked in the, like, it did the Mexican wave with its eyes. Hmm. When you slash at it. And when it opens... <laughs> When its eyes open, it gets you. you it sh the scene shows, and just the fire pours out, charring the yokai into nothing. Oh well, uh, very fascinating. Um, for the rest of, can I still move a little bit? Since you I got, can I still move. move Fifty. Uh, I have about twenty more feet of movement, but I just moved to uh, right over here, which is fifteen feet. Mhm. Mm uh, that's that's the end of my turn. No worries. It is now Pimera's turn. <laughs> um, I am going to um take uh I'm gonna try stab him again. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I I just I was gonna do something else, but I changed my mind. Uh. <laughs> the first one does get. Can I roll with like real dice? <laughs> you can, I'll allow. Uh, the first, just uh, type it in chat what you, when you do. Um, the first one does hit. The second one, however, does not. First one, you said. Yeah, the first one does hit. Uh huh. Take that. I, be I believe what you've done there. If you roll the d20 again. If you go in chat, you'll see where, like, power hand axe is, and if you click that... Do I need... Oh, okay. I clicked the... Yeah. 1d6, and I guess I just... Okay. Nice. I thought oh. I was gonna have... Oh! <laughs> Can I just have the first one? <laughs> oh! The chances, oh, though, I'm stupid. Would roll, oh, yeah, you're right. Then... Oh, no, you... Oh, no, sorry, no, yeah. Like, that one. That one slashing. Oh. Gosh darn. Dang. Can I just have the six? I feel like I should get the six. <laughs> What are the well, that's what odds? Like, is it, is it, that's it a d20, take... though. What are the odds it would be a 6, though? <laughs> Maybe I should mm. just be doing it. Well, technically, it was a 4, because I got a plus 2. So. But it is a d20. D20 has... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you do get a he eye, and then you do cut one of the eyes. Yeah. And a whack. Create a little nick and in the eye. It is now. Anything else you'd like to do, Pamara? Oh, um, I would also like to uh, very smoothly kind of dance back a couple steps. You can. As you move out of range, you will have attack of opportunity on you. Yeah. Okay, fine. It will try and bite you as you try and run away. Rude. It's going to bite me anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't get you, and you are able to step out of range. But as you bounce out of range, you see just stick out a little forked tongue that is blue um and yep. it closes all but one eye as it tries to aim at you with its sling and then it just fires at you and in the same place as the last time if that does that hit the 18 yes in this you feel a stone thunk into your head once again dealing through I do not appreciate. I have never had problems with rocks like this. <laughs> Ever since you met Aura. <laughs> your bad luck. I don't know where you are, but I come through. It's not nice. Is it, was it the rock hands thing? I was just kidding. I don't know. I don't know how to. No, it was rude. Sorry. It's gonna step back though now, and like it's gonna run around the building. Oh no, you don't, little shit. Come back here. <laughs> Lucera, your turn. Oh my god, okay. Lucera's pissed. She just left slow and she's like, that was a huge mistake. Okay. Uh, I was wondering, is, can she get any boost because she's on high ground at all in, in distance at all? If you wanted to do a really fancy jump, maybe. Oh. Could I roll for um, athletics for a fancy jump? <laughs> <laughs> See if I can... Yes. 
Athletics, acrobatics, or dexterity. Fifteen. You. I'll allow you to be able to jump from where you are. Yeah. And like you do a little, you do like just, you kind of like just like propel yourself and like just jump at the last moment from the ledge, and then just yeah. You just feel your horns brush against the peach blossom tree here, and just land just behind ten eighty. With a serviceable yeah. land. I will let you... You are... I will... Oh, I... Jump. <laughs> I move closer towards that, Mario. I will... I will allow, I will allow you to move an extra step, because I think it's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will move uh, here. I hope there's enough space. As you step forward, do you notice that it's got, like, three eyes on its, uh, on its shoulder? And it, each eye is looking at what each one of you. Okay. Not low um, because low's eaten. <laughs> and um, I say to La Sarah, I think she's gonna need to breathe soon. Is it safe for me to attack? Oh, like yeah, you you can attack. Um, yeah. I, I think she's gonna cautiously try and attack because she's a little worried about low. Mm -hmm. You can you try and attack like one side of it, but you are able to do damage. That does hit. Yeah, that's the arrow just stuff. <laughs> Ten. Where and how are you cutting at the uh, at the shaban? Okay, so she's very cautious, so she can uh, just like uh, upward um upward or downward uh, downward slashes at like um. Towards one of the arms um, of the um, of it, mm -hmm. uh, and um, a little bit towards the stomach, but she tries to kind of like scratch it, but like slight, more of a like slicing. Yeah, a little, not, not, little, not fully, not deeply. Like a little tickle it's, with the side. Like a almost. paper cut. Yeah, a you just like try and nick at this uh, shiba and try to be as precarious as you possibly can. However, this little nick you cause kind of like punctures it like a balloon. And you see like the f fire gush out of it from the... Why would I use that word? Um, and as that happens, you see like the fire just like kind of consume again, like the other ones. Uh, and it stops where the mouth is, but then it bursts into um, into just a huge pyre of white fire. Um, swirling down, and when it, as it dies down, it reveals... Lo just standing there. Lo, give a you thumbs okay? up. <laughs> Lo just like just standing there, like and like you get a sudden flash of light, uh, Lo, as you have, can see again. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, Thank you, Sarah. It's okay. I'm so worried. Just give it a double thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up back again. Again. Okay, hey. this is awkward. Anything else? <clears throat> I think I'm gonna not make the same. Actually, no, wait, I can't move anymore, can I? You cannot. Oh, okay, then that's, that's probably fair. 10 a is your turn, eh? <laughs> <clears throat> I believe there is one left um, among them. Um, Chimera, did you get the last one? No, the little shit ran away! <laughs> Towards where? And they hit me with another rock! Ah! Uh, be careful of those! Um, so yeah, I guess that, uh, I was not happy there. <laughs> so, towards, uh, I guess, behind the foam thing again? Yeah, away from, yeah. On the other side, behind the, the horsey. Okay, so I'll, I'll move towards the general direction of that um oops um um like okay like this okay. yes okay did it there you are just wanted to calculate the distance um all right little guy um <laughs> this is um my sword um that hits <laughs> so like don't scream at me Implement him to flowers! And that does hit, and that does a nice bit of damage. If it 
has a mouth, I'm aiming at the mouth so that it doesn't scream back. Mm -hmm. I'd let you, yeah, you, I'd let you just like create like a, just a clean slash at where his face mouth is. And you just see his face mouth just fall off and then catch fire before it hits the ground. Anything else? Um, still, still standing, I'm like, okay, this time you're gonna like also meet my shield. Uh, and I try to do the strength thing mm -hmm. uh, for real this time. <laughs> Dang. Mm. No spooks, no, no pushback. <laughs> if you want to roll strength for me, yeah, I'm gonna pull up my. You did ten. Yes. Sorry, yeah. I, 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 my, absolutely a bunch of tabs. Oh. <laughs> it just kind of like both of you just apply a similar amount of force where like you just can't cause either to budge as it tries resisting your push. Oh wait, no, can I do the musical inspiration now? I will allow it. Yeah. Or, yeah. So when I roll a d something, a d6, six, I believe, yeah, six. Yeah, you are able to just like, and you feel Lowe's, uh You recall Lowe's jingle in your head, and you kind of like, mm -hmm. you hum it as if like a ringtone, and then you just push. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. And you just push this the shabatan over, and it just like lands on its bum, just there. <laughs> And gets knocked. Anything else? So that is my turn. Nope. No worries. Lo, your turn. Um, I think I'm just gonna chill out. Uh, back here. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. No worries. It is now the Shaban's turn, I believe. No, it isn't. It is. Ed turn. It is Rocky's turn, yeah. Go on, Roxanne. Me, Rocky. Roxanne, so. alright. Roxanne! I wanna. Oh, one second. Okay, I'm gonna move. I wanna move. Can I move this way right over here? Bear with me so I can have a look at the tab again because I just tapped out. Yes, you can. Alright. Uh, so then I move right here. Yes. Uh, and then I, I gotta, I'm gonna swing at him, obviously. No, I'm gonna kill this man, this this booger. Uh, first off, I got 24 to hit. I've been doing pretty well in my rolls. You've been doing amazingly. Yeah. Uh, seven, seven damage. Seven damage. Is he still up? Still alive? He is not still up. He's not. He's not. You just run over, and then create just a swift slash, and you get your sword stuck into the wagon. With the speed and force you just slash it, but like awkward. you caught like at an angle on its face, and it's missing a mouth as well. Um, but like you just see like it's got like this huge gash in its face, and it just kind of like just burns away. Like well, um... and you are no longer in combat. I am going to <laughs> be. Would you guys be like to before um, before like we go into the next thing? Would you like to um, go on a break, or would you like to do a bit of the next or introduce the next scene, or would you like to break, please? Oh. 
Um, okay. Going back into the session, you see the post box door open. And Rocky and uh, 108, you see this little green Shiba Inu just peek out and look at you. And then the door shuts again. Well, I'm going to rock over there. Uh, <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and walk over there. Said over. It was... No, no, over, over here. Over here, the post box. I mean, uh, the, um, the telephone booth. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I didn't have my roll 20 open booth. No, that's okay, that's but, good. Um... <laughs> As you're moving on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you, you had a turn over. Yeah. Um, right with that weird compass and grasses. I don't know why there's someone someone loaded compass in there. Um, <laughs> so Hold I I go up there and I knock on the door. You hear a deep. <laughs> you hear a um. Hello? The voice you hear is I will pull up the my notes. You hear a deep, echoey voice from uh, from within. Um, oh. It's got like a slight otherworldly presence about it. Uh, but you notice the accent has like a click of, on certain vowels. Um, mm -hmm. And you recognize this, uh, Rocky, as uh, like as your parents had a very similar accent. No, no one, no one's in here. Well, Please well, go by. You, you see, the issue is when you say that, that, that kind of... No, Ooh, I'm a, I'm a ghost. Go away. Ev oh, evil spirit man. in here. Uh, no one's allowed to use this phone booth because I'm, I'm too evil. I cut, the, I cut the line two seconds within the call. I don't hey, accept do coins. Think, why do you think you're evil, uh, may, uh, may I ask? Because I don't let people call their families because they it love their families. Nice. Make, that's not, yeah, it's not very My nice of you, but that's... Uh, Oh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, oh, uh, we'll I, uh, on that in one second. But that doesn't make you really evil. It makes you a little bit unkind, I would say. But you could easily change that by letting people go in there and calling their families. No, no, that's a bit of an asshole move. I feel you, 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 Oh, I, I, I understand this. As, as an evil spirit, I, I, I know I'm, I've been so far away from my fam family. I've become okay. bitter, and I don't you, let you people don't... call their families. Please Where's go away. Door? Can I just try to open, the, force to open the door? You can force to open the door. Look, now you upset the flower man, and <laughs> you don't sound like the other evil yokai. You open the door and you see this, uh, this tall. Actually, no, it's not even tall. How tall is he? Where are we? <laughs> Give me a second. Everyone's small compared to me. It's all right. Good point. <laughs> he's five foot eleven. You see, he's five foot eleven man uh, in a small being. You see, he's got. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's got on him um, red splint armor on his shoulder pads, on his wrists, his knees, and on his chest. And let's go like this. Give me a hot second. All right. So, so lo-fi boy. Um... I'm sorry to hear about your family. Uh, it's not something I, I, I like to talk about, but... Uh, uh, you don't have to, you won't pry. Uh, well, since you're insisting, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice. Um, but, um, um, you see so this... You see... <laughs> As, yeah, it you... is okay. If you need to let out your feelings, that is absolutely fine. Do you need a hug? I can give you a hug. Don't touch me. I can do it. Okay, I won't. I'm, it's not content. If you don't want to hug, I will give you a Would you like for me to get, get you some water for your flowers? I can go do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that sounds nice. Okay. You're allowed to cry. It is okay to show your feelings. I, I go physically walk can't cry. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. Boo. Are you a kind yokai? That's that's kind of a lame title if I'm being a blue. I don't know if people who have pets can really be considered evil. 
your dog got a sword in his mouth, and I feel like that's not safe um, for anybody. Well, that doesn't mean he's evil. It's not a matter of him being evil, it's just a matter of, I feel like the dog could easily get hurt by having a sword in his mouth. I yeah, think like it's... Like... <laughs> okay, well, what if the dog, like, what if it's, like, his safety blanket, you know? Well... What if well, it makes still, him feel safe? It's still a weapon. <laughs> I, just... wouldn't, I would not take away your hat. You cannot take away his sword, that's not very nice. My, my... Alright. Oh my god, I've been talking and like I did no one could hear me. Yeah, no one could hear me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I basically basically I described uh the man looks like this. Uh he's got like his mask is a bone um is made like looks like it's made of bone and he's got like pink reddish splint uh and a green jacket with his collar up. His hair's auburn and it's the antlers are ashy uh and ashy grey. Same as his ear long ears. Uh his antlers kinda of look like they've been burnt in um, a bushfire, and he's got uh, two katanas that like just be wrapped in this pink cloth. And in front of him, uh, as he's holding a mug of a dog, you see uh, a green dog that's the same color as his um, uh, jacket, holding one of his katanas in its mouth. Uh, he goes to squat down and pats uh, Shiki, uh, the dog on the head. Um, don't 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 mind her. That she 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 likes to play with the sword. It's it's Didn't fine. She feel protected. Look, she protect. It's fine. Could I? Could I? Oh. Lou's just gonna be like, it's nice to meet you, then, Mister, and like hold out her hand. <laughs> oh, hello there. He he goes to shake. My name's uh, Lo Nico. Lo's hand. My my name's t t Time. Well, my my name's Time, and this is Shiki. You feel his voice. Um, I everyone's heard it, but you guys, uh, the chat didn't. Um, when he speaks to everyone but uh, 1080, uh, they feel like his voice comes from within as well as from like ear holes and sound. Um, he goes to shake uh, Lo's hand, and it's he's got um, he's got a firm grip, but like he doesn't. He knows your child, so he doesn't exactly try and like make it too firm. <laughs> he doesn't want to break your hand or anything. He his hands are kind of clammy and cold when he goes to shake your hand. Um, Can I take I the dog's hand or time's hand? Time's hand. Oh, sorry. <laughs> also, okay. I might have forgot to mention. He, he. I don't know if chat heard when I mentioned what his voice sounded like. It's slightly deep and echoey. And yeah, and, it, and like it's been spoken from behind his mask. It's got this otherworldly presence to it. Um, yeah. Would, would, Can would I, I like, tell if he is a yokai or if he's something else you can roll insight for me um would 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 it be okay if i stepped out of the telephone booth of course yes, yes please come out can, can i can i pet your dog of course can i just say next time don't don't make funny jokes about families dude and i step aside I'm not making funny jokes about families. I just stop. People get very upset easily. That's... You know, you don't know everyone's past. It's okay. That, 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 we, that we... do be how it be sometimes. We forgive you, it's okay. It's... Your dog is very cute. It's very nice. Thank you. Shiki... I pet the dog. <laughs> Shiki's very happy when she gets pet by everyone and everyone <laughs> surrounds her. Oh, um, <laughs> perhaps we should check on Noodle Man. Oh? Noodles? Yes, um, so she's gonna walk, um, like around. Hello, mm. Mr. Noodleman, are you alright? As you Will say you that- with any rocks? They're not very fun. You see the noodle clerk, uh, pop his head out of the, um, out of the store, and his hat almost slips off, but then he quickly catches it and pops it back on. Oh, 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 we're fine. We, I just finished serving my last customer. Uh, I think I'm- I think the inside's fine. Uh, I think I'm going to actually be going. Wait, hold, hold, hold on, Mr. Noodle Man. I would like some noodles, please. Uh, it time is safe says. now. You can serve noodles again if you'd like. No, and obviously no. you can do whatever you want with it. Well, I'll take. Okay, I'll take one customer, but be quick, please. Okay. A time. Oh no! I dropped my bowl of noodles when I went to give it to the friend, and I didn't even get any. 
Oh, well, not the not not the friends. They were not the friends, obviously. But like, <laughs> never. Oh, um, can I please have my egg? Can I have the egg part? I guess. Oh, okay, I'll make you. I'll make some quick. Oh, I'm. I'll, I'll, okay, here. Um, and he just quickly gets a. You just see him bring out this huge bucket bowl, and then fill it with soup, <laughs> and then no, some ramen noodles, and then he just hands it to Pymera. Oh, oh, and you see oh, the drive. Much... Thank you so much. The driver steps out. And you see him just enjoying his little soba noodles in a cup. How much do I owe you for this? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Um, Are you sure? Because it's very good. This noodle is something I will add to my diet. It's it's fine. Uh, just 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 make sure you shop at some noodles uh, again. Uh, I'm gonna be preparing shop closed. Uh, okay, too. goodbye, Mister Lee. Lee, that was his name, right? Bye, that was his man. name. Wait, do you have boiling water that I could borrow, please? So, uh, time says from behind everyone. Yeah, yes, yes. Take, take, take it. And, and he hands a bucket of boiling water to time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Do you need help holding that? It looks very hot. Oh no, it's okay. And then he just puts it on the ground, and then Shiki just like looks at it, but then also stays near low. Um, would would everyone like some tea? As the noodle clerk shuts, clerk shuts uh, the doors of his noodle store and begins preparing. Noodle clerk. Clerk. <laughs> <laughs> you see the doors just slam shut and the windows also shut, and he, you hear him just jostling from within. Would Would everyone like some tea? I I have ja yes, please. Jasmine. Is Jasmine fine for everyone? Um, yes, um, it's lovely. Yeah, I'll put uh, some I'll... tea. Isn't that a bit um? Insensitive to the flower man. <laughs> um, uh, on that Different. regard, um, so the answer is um, not not clear. Um, but what the thing is, uh, I don't need jasmine tea. The flowers don't drink uh, the juices of their dead companions, um, and so I. I you, you can consume, you biological beings, the biological juices that you drink. Um, yep, that's what I think. Oh. Well, I was just going to look really, like, oh, but tea tastes really nice. Tea is <laughs> nice, isn't it? I, I've Love. never had any, um, would you, maybe. Would you like to try? I, I, I guess. And I, during that time, I, I'm putting the sword and shield back into its umbrella form. Mm. It just, as it connects, you see it kind of just weave itself back together into its umbrella form. Um, as you see time also just pull out from within his uh, coat jacket, just a handful of jasmine um, leaf bags, I mean tea bags, and then just tosses them in the, in the bowl and then stirs it with his fingers. Oh, um, if you would not like to try, um, a tea made of your dead friends, um, I can make you something else if you, if a different kind of tea, perhaps. Oh. You would like to try that. You have tea too? What tea you got? Oh, I, I have lots of, um, herbs I could use to make a different kind of tea. We can, um, I could get dandelion. That's, it's a little bitter, but like that could be good. Um, lavender tea is good. Chamomile is good. You know, we just went through quite a bit of a, of a scenario that was very exciting. That's the most fun I've had in the, the days, really. That was, woo. I mean, except for the rock part, like that was not fun. But not, Wait. not the rock man, the rock hitting me in the face. Well, the, the, I did not hit her in the face. I would like to clarify it was a different rock. <laughs> Yes, no. Welcome rock here. man was nice. The rock in my face was not not nice. But hmm. chamomile will help uh, calm you down if you feel um, excited. Oh wait, no. All of those are flowers. I'm so uh, sorry. I'll, I'll just <laughs> have what. Um. Uh. Yeah. Just whatever. Time. Time. Right. I'll have time. what you're having. Making. Sounds nice. It is nice. It's it's a fine brand. It's a sage hummingbird. Very fine brand. Um. He turns to Rocky. Wait, no, he doesn't turn to Rocky. So he turns to Pi he looks at Pimera. Uh, 
<laughs> Sarah just steps aside. <laughs> Did you just say you were the ones that were having the little kerfuffle out here? Oh, with the little... The little things with the eyeballs and the... Oh, okay. I, I don't know, are you just making a lot of noise? Oh, yeah. well, I mean, they started it, to be fair, but yes. Sometimes you gotta finish it. That's how it, that's we how... did. We, I mean, I didn't. I was not helpful, but everyone oh. else did really well. <laughs> well, uh, they they were very somehow like good against shields. Um, that that really surprised me. Maybe, um, maybe they're trained in shield combat. He turns to time. Mm -hmm. I mean, he turns to like, ten eighty. Sorry. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, Shanda has a, a question. Can she oh. Says who are the players? Don't remember. Oh, sorry. Uh, we have Sam. Uh, I shall. Who is playing 1080. We have Sophie, who is playing Shopee, uh, who's playing uh, La Sera. I don't know if that's, I knew it wasn't that. It was Sophie. Um, there is Georgia, who's playing uh, ten, um, Lone Nico. And then there's uh, Beth, who plays Pymera, who's also with the Turtle Guild. And there is Rocky, who's played by Jacob, who does a bunch of cool stuff that isn't his thing. It's the Piper thing. It's Piper. What's the word? <laughs> and I should add his Dudes and Dames stuff on there too. He yeah, does a cool podcast. Yeah, also very good. It is. Yeah. It's very funny. From the little bits I've seen, um, yeah, and um, I'm, I'm the DM. Oh, so then, we should. Oh, oh, oh! You guys think you're slick? <laughs> yeah, there's that disc. I mean, Sean's already in it, but there's. Uh, I mean, ah, here's my links. Okay. Even though, like, I think you, you've you've got me on what matters. Not sure. Awesome. Right. Back into the game. So let's um, dive oh. into the team. Is it ready, by the way? Just just give it a minute. He keeps stirring with his fingers. Uh, you know, it's the color. It's very hot. I don't know if you should. I mean. I'm it is sure. boiling, yeah. Yeah. Um, perhaps? He just looks up at you. He doesn't, like, his body seems very still as he just looks up. Um. I'm sorry. I mean this in the nicest way, but oh. did you wash your hands before you put it in the. Well, I guess it's boiling water, so it technically would sterilize. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. The answer would be, I don't remember. Oh. I don't remember. Like I, yeah. I just, I think I just got into the post box, and I don't remember stopping by the river. <laughs> That's okay. There's like a, it's, it's bo if it's boiling, it's it's probably yeah, fine. Yeah, you're fine. right. Um, There's just gonna look at us and be like, "Are you okay?" Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, Lucera. No, um, time. Lo's looking at times. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing wonderful. I just, just woke up. Um, were you taking a nap through all of that? Oh no, did we wake you up? I'm so sorry. You did, but it's fine. I, I, it's sunset. I'm, I'm, I'm about to make my way. Well, what, what are you guys doing at uh, sunset? It's, it's dangerous at these times. Why well, dangerous? Well, I mean, you just got jumped. Well, I wouldn't say oh, we got fine, jumped. That. Okay, I. I would say they got jumped. If anything, we, we, uh... <laughs> you you made you made you made them look like fools. Yeah. We were just trying to eat some noodles. I was trying yeah. to tend to my flowers. Oh. Is um perhaps you should check on your driver. Uh, he's, oh, he's, standing right, he he's standing right. Is he alright? He's standing right next to you, Pymera, By the way. Oh, uh, oh. did I mention with your twelve? Oh, you are... <laughs> he, he just looks at you while he's eating his noodles. He's he's in, he's thoroughly enjoying them. He's oh, well, he's, he's a bit like... shooken, but like he's like got, he feels like the noodles are a warm blanket, a safety blanket for him. Yeah. Um. um by the... I'm sorry about your carriage. What should we do now, though? <laughs> I, 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 I don't. Honestly, I mean, there's a temple up up north. We could, oh sorry, up fourth. We could probably maybe find someone that can fix that. 
Time. Yes, yep. they'll help us. Um. Oh, Lomiko, is that a flower on your mask? Yes, I have uh, two spider lilies in my hair. That is very cool. I also have flowers on me. Um. Oh, and I not? forgot to ask. Um. Rocky, was it? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, you seem to be still a bit hurt. Um, will you be alright? Um, I mean, I would not, I would not, um, argue with anybody that would want to heal me, because I, uh, those, those last guys, you know, they took down a little bit, and I would like to be, uh, healed up for any, anything to come. But, uh... I, I am out of magic, but I could try, uh, medicine. Oh, I could medicine. help you. Go. I can do that. If you got some medicine kits, oh. you can. Oh, no, I, I, I have magic. I oh, oh, sorry. If, I was, I was if so that's weird. okay. Uh, if, you all, if you allow me to touch you, I it won't uh, hurt. Yeah, I, I, I guess I trust you, uh, cat woman. Thank um, you, rock man. Thank you. <laughs> he, um... Oh, I sorry. appreciate your trust in me. By the way, with Lo, did I did I men did I answer your insight check or did I just like? No, I don't think so. You time gives off like he isn't he isn't a yokai. He's he's not corrupted or like destroyed or anything. But he's not. There is there is there is there is some off about him. Well, you know he's a tiefling at the least. You have that oh. to go off of. Yeah, there's not nothing. Um... So where where are you from? Um, 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 time. If you don't mind me asking. I'm and from... Why were you in a mailbox? Post. I mean, telephone box. Um, hmm. I'm from Adosha. Up. Any points yeah. vaguely in the eastern direction? Hmm. Oh, I I I was coming from Adosha. Um, no. As well. Very nice. Um, can can I check to see if I would know, like from anything that I've read, like if I would know? I mean, you you know, Adosha. Adosha is like just like the other country to the east, and it's it's a part of the continent of Shreleo, so mm -hmm. it's nothing like you you've, you've seen people come and go from Adosha, and they're also invading south, so it's pretty. They're pretty common knowledge, know, know of, and you've met mm -hmm. as as someone who goes about trading and wandering. You'd know a few people that have come from Adosha, and you might have also wandered into Adosha at a point or two. Mm -hmm. Lo and Lucera, however, you only like met people from there. You've never actually stepped set foot on Aden mm -hmm. soil. Uh, time looks at um, Rocky. You got a little Aiden in your in your little in your tongue. My tongue? What are you, what are you looking at my tongue for? Oh, what he it? thinks you are oh. cute. No, 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 I think you're cute too, bud. But um, <laughs> thank what, you. But you... It's, it's it's a figure of speech. Oh my! Oh my speech! The way I talk. Yeah, your accent. Oh uh, my accent! Gotcha. But also, uh, yeah, you I guess. you don't look like someone who is uh. You you look like of the Genasi variety, if I do say so myself. Oh, I I I'd like to say I am um, human. Um, to depends on who's asking though. He so, just uh, tilts his head at you when you say that. Huh. As does little pie boy. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I'm sorry, but I've been assessing life forms for as long as I've been in Lo Lo Fi, Lo Fi, hold on one sec. Hold on. I I, I appreciate your inquiry, Lo Fi boy, but I. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I'm. Uh, I'm actually. I'm. I got a little bit of a, a little bit of giant thing. Um, oh, you. you not, have, definitely not Janazi. You. You have giant oh, blood in you. So are you yeah. saying you identify as a human? No, I, I'm just saying. You know, I'm part human, half uh, a little bit of a little bit of like a earth oh, giant. Like, like a stone giant, perhaps. A little bit of a stone giant. Yes, that's mm -hmm. correct. Um, are stone giants really small? Because I'm. Taller than you. Well, well, you're also very large. You know, you grow like flower. That's <laughs> plants are Man, can be very tall. Weren't you made like? Weren't you not born or or were you made somewhere? Like how? I don't know if we should use the M word. <laughs> 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 I 
I apologize. <laughs> right, what, a, what, a, what, what do you hey, know about Janazi? What do I know? I, I, I speaking the time or, or 1080? Time, time. I, I mean, well, they're children of the state. Mm. Oh, you, you believe in that, huh? Well, I mean, it's a figure of life or a fact of life in Sri Lanka. I mean, you don't dress like someone from here, to be fair. Well, I'm, I'm not. I was a, I was born and raised in Ronslaw. I'm just pouring over here, you know, gathering myself. Uh, what, what were you doing in the phone box, Tom? I was trying to sleep. Well, I was waking up. I was, I was sleeping. Can I do an inside check on her? Go ahead. Cool. Uh, let's see. I gotta grab my How did you now. know of um, the... Uh... <laughs> All right, 12. <laughs> uh, the attacks at sunset. I mean, I've been traveling for a few years now. I, it's, mm. I don't exactly try to get involved in any fights. Yokai come out whenever they want, but like, sunset's pretty... Sunset and uh, the twilight, sometimes midnight, are also uh, common themes when they want to attack. When the sun's setting is usually when they're thinking fight time, I guess. Wait, do you mean, I mean not me, all, fight. all bad guys -I -M -E. or just like specifically like He's those? something about yokai. Things. Yeah, I think. That's not what they were. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah those are, like you've heard of yokais, like these strange uh, yeah. creatures that like are distorted and weird. They're weird. You've heard, you <laughs> priests mentioned them, and like you, you, you know that like these creatures do come out at times and to just attack people. So it's not like it's not it's like a like it's how like monsters exist in like normal fantasy settings. It's like that you know these things exist. It's like, but they're still used as the boogeyman sometimes, mm. and like scary ones, the spooky ones. Um, but then time just responds. Well, I mean, I mean, I didn't know you were fighting yokai to be fair until you mentioned you were fighting yokai. Could have been bandits. It is true. It could have. But been. you do suggest that like around midnight there where yokai appeared they would appear once more and since the sun has set probably seeking shelter would be safer than awaiting the next round of yokai Am exactly exactly yes, it sounds perhaps like we should optimal. make our way to the temple i was exactly gonna say that low low where is the key mind temple? Uh, he he then just like uh, shows he just like turns his body a bit to show the road behind you guys. Don't mind the obscured um, temple. I mean the um, the cart that's in the middle of the road. But you can see just like over the treetops a giant pagoda, just lining the silhouette across a oh. stone bridge and is, a few tori gates. Um, is there somewhere we could put the horses so that they are safe? I mean, I'd imagine the temple would have room, or willing to We keep... could take them with us. Yeah, I mean, we well... We could use them for travel. I didn't say I was coming with you, but... Yeah, well, wait. Are they your horses? Uh, time to, uh, says to Lacera. And also, <laughs> Lo-Fi Lo Boy, the, uh, t the driver, also says, Are they your horses, madam? No, I just meant if we are all no, going no, inside... I, I thought it was Lacera that said, that said that. I thought oh, I was riding the horses. Like, she said, oh, we can take them as our own. I think they are us. No, they are um, They are us. They are. Ex Madam. <laughs> Madam, you, gonna be like, okay. when, when you it's hire like, a wagon, you don't buy the horses. You can buy them off me. Like, I'm, sure, I'm, sh I'm sure you'll be coming with us. You look at the driver. Like, you'll be coming with us, right? To the temple. I mean, I must. Right, well, yeah. My livelihood's been shattered in front of me. Well, I've got yeah, to my name. Yeah. We'll, my horses. We'll accompany you and, and your horses. And to the temple. My horses and my cup of noodles. That's all and I have to my gonna, name right she's now. She's just gonna sort of bow a little bit. <laughs> he just nods to I'm low. Like, I can't believe this woman is trying to steal my own horses when I have nothing to lose. I mean, everything to lose now. Everything and I have how... is in my I hands and behind me. About how I how fucked up is that, that carriage? It's not like, it's not like, it's, it's definitely seen better days. The wheels are everywhere. And it's been like broken in places, but like it could be fixed easily. After just a day or two. Consider that in the morning when Yokai won't be a threat anymore. Fine. Yeah. And it, anyway, the odds that people will try to do anything with the material during the night, if they can deal with Yokai, they can probably deal with us as well. So unless unless the T's 
ready and the tea we stop is for ready. a sip, then I would like a little sip, please. Um, he, he pulls out a set of matching mugs as his dog mug and he gives everyone a cup of his jasmine tea and then he just puts the boil he drags the boiling water to the side of the road and then just leaves it underneath um the lantern uh firefly shrine for soccer game but let's That's a nice offering hmm. well i mean Nice. When, when, you, when you're traveling often, you make sure to bless so or give fortune to Sakage as often as you can. Well, I, well interesting. Is that okay? Mm, I mean, she kind of like takes out a little notepad and like writes it. You dumb. So, my boy just pours it on his face and it's like, it doesn't work. It, um, you feel some of the flowers' displeasure at the heat immediately. Mm, I don't like tea, it's not comfortable. And I start walking towards the temple. Each to their own, I guess. <laughs> My kids didn't like tea either. Mm, maybe well, when yeah. I'll be mm. older. Who knows? Maybe. They might. Maybe, who knows? My kids may have grown out of it. Or grown into it. Also, maybe by the way, cold tea. You could. Yes, you're right. Iced tea is lovely as well. And, uh, Rocky, by the way, what was your insight check on again, sorry? Was it about him lying check. about sleeping? I want to more see kind of person he was but it was just he was not lying about him sleeping uh right. and you don't see he, he doesn't come across as someone who's like lying to you guys he may be like yeah he, he's he, he might be dodging here and there but he's he's not um he's not bat buying away from you guys and as you guys like have finished like as he gives everyone a cup of jasmine tea the noodle clerk's wagon begins to be pulled by the um the horses and makes its way east. It just like Fine, little man. It struggles Bye. to get past you guys, but it it, it does it. <laughs> can Lofi boy uh, plant? You can plant. All right. Shiki um, comes to watch you plant. I would like to also. Is that allowed? May I watch? Is this a private thing? Um. So. I can leave you alone if it is the thing you would like to do on your own. Uh, it's just something I do when I spend a lot of time or have an encounter that feels special. I like to leave a mark. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Hmm. And yeah, you see, you pull out a hay, uh, hyden iris um, seed and you just plant it, give it some more, and Shiki just watches you do it constantly. Uh, while time is just sipping on his tea, watching you guys do that. That's it. I move on to the temple. Uh, Lo, oh, you're the still injured, right? A little just bit. A little bit. Can I just heal you up? Um, I'll, I'll use my uh, lay on hands. Come on, carriage man, let's go. I think the temple should be fine. I'm just gonna, just in case. I... <laughs> Healthiness, right? <laughs> Just in case, I think is the best approach. To he nods at the same and smiles. Oh well, you, you would you you get a warm encouragement to his his words, Lucera, when he says that because he can't smile because he can't see it behind his mask. Yeah. Uh, I can't find it. <laughs> it's okay. You see on your sheet, oh, yeah. um. There's the like where your arrows, divine sense, lay on hands. Are. Oh nope, on your core section, just underneath like your flaws and bonds and ideals and personality trait. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. Um. And you just remove how much. Just... I think just three would need. You just need to lower that yeah, just by three. three. It's like so. Yeah. Oops, I did the wrong one. No, it's okay. Yeah. Um. You, Lacerad, How how do you cast or how do you use your lay on hands? I just kind of like put my hand, um, my um, my hand on um, Lo's shoulder, and um, uh, just feel like, all right, this should do it. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, just, like, magic. <laughs> when when um, like, when Lacera says the words, uh, Lo, you feel like your your sisterly bond to her, 
like you feel like the connection in like her words and like mm-hmm. it warms you like the tea like times tea as well as you sipping on that and you feel like you're just a bit safer Yay. or more safer than like or just as safe as you w- would normally be around the Sarah yeah yeah she's gonna skip on up to the temple <laughs> Yeah. Um, we're gonna end the session just as I put you on the new map. All right. Um, that's cool with you guys. But yeah, you cr- you step onto the stone bridge and you can just see uh, past some Tori gates or Tori gates. Um, these huge uh, re- those red shrine gates. I'll pull up the handout now. This is what everyone sees. Ooh. Oh, and if I... Was this also done by Flower, or was this one you? No, this one's me. Um, this is the one that I said, don't pre- pretend you didn't see last night. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but it was really It was actually for this. Um, but yeah, you see uh, this, and like you see like the sides of the bridge, of the stone bridge, you see like they're like, uh, get railed gates, but above them is like a, a winding, oh, well, not winding, sorry, a slithering snake um, carved into the wood as well that looks like a feathered uh, dragon snake uh, mm-hmm. and you see at the end or at the beginning of, um, of the bridge you see it's got a tail it's, uh, and it's curled around a peach or a carved peach yeah. and then when you step towards the temple you can see in its mouth is also a peach mm-hmm. uh, but I will describe the full uh, temple scene to you guys next session um, but yeah, that's uh, session one of uh, the Throne Top Sands campaign. Yay! <laughs> nice. um, that was so cool! I'm glad you guys that was so had amazing. fun. <laughs> that was so cool. Hope everyone in chat enjoyed um, session one. And um, I'm still buzzing. Um, I'm screaming I'm internally. And I like. Mm, I am. Really happy. Uh, thank you to everyone that hung out and vibed. I just want to take a moment to appreciate your hands out, considering that, like, um, you know, What's like, it's the end of the day and everything, and then you see kind of like the, the cool starry night, maybe beginning, and then like the shadows, like, and everything. I don't know, it's just really, really, really nice. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the vibes. I'm such a and, vibe. And also with the music, like, um, I know, like, you've been saying how um, there's um, sometimes you, you were a bit unsure about how it would fit or not because of, or just I don't know, just that you. It's more so like the <laughs> people thinking like, it's this isn't D and D. That's what I was worried about. Right, right, right. But no, I think like. Um, like the vibes uh, that it created, and so, like still the the mechanic and the the play of D and D was still very much there, mm-hmm. and like it's just so cool. Like um, it just really felt like um, just very you at the same time, but mm-hmm. very immersive in this very uh, I don't know. I guess we can say weep world. I really <laughs> like it. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And yeah, I've I've had a lot of fun crafting Shreya, and I'm glad like I could show everyone and like all the support I've got for the um, the campaign and like the world and the art and stuff has been amazing and it's insane and I couldn't ask for better players and a better like community that I've built together. Oh, Beth. <laughs> My commissions are very open. good. Like how yeah. I slid that in there. <laughs> that was very cheeky of you. And again, yeah, yeah like everyone, thanks for supporting the stream, uh, the campaign. I the fact that like I hit, like when I started this, I think we were at fifty. Like I think Halloween was when we were fifty, and then followers. Yeah. Like, I think I just yeah. hit affiliate, and, like, we did the Halloween stream just for fun, and I didn't, like, 
like people could make jokes. Oh, his cat's a DM, but like he doesn't play a lot of D and D. He doesn't DM a lot on this. Matt calls me out a lot on that one. Um, but then like we did Christmas, and then that's when we hit like a hundred, and we've hit two hundred now, and it's been under a year, and just everyone's like support for like the work I'm I've been putting in, and, like everyone excited to see everything. It's really cool, and like I really appreciate just how patient and understanding and willing just to like want to see my work is really cool and yeah i appreciate and love you all for that and it's yeah. spicy oh, i love you too <laughs> <laughs> the like special like um content that we've got like not hidden away but like that we've like that we could share for there's some people. really sweet lore yeah. there's some yeah. really really sweet art mm -hmm. um I don't know if I'm like actually gonna. Content, yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'm actually gonna hide away the um, the law. I might, I might make that a bit more pop. I might open that up. But like everything, like like other stuff, like like Primera's book club, and just like yeah. other like, or like maybe like our little sit downs <laughs> after the streams and stuff will be on that maybe or like early access at the least. And there's mm -hmm. also like fun ways to like I mean not fun ways but like a way to support the art that I get or I want to get made for the stream because like I'm um, Sam Illiga who did the uh, time illustration at the uh, beginning and the BRB um, I'd like to ha I'd like to bring them back again because like they're a really cool artist and and like I'm, I've got like in mind to have them on for more but like and there's also like uh, Green or Flower does amazing art as well as you've seen throughout the stream or throughout the session and I'm hoping to keep him on for like the entire campaign and stuff. Um, I'm gonna end the stream there. Thank you again to everyone that's watched. Uh, thank you to everyone that's watching the VOD. Um, let's let's when's one next last session? Time. Oh yeah, next session. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Next session yeah. will be on the. It's okay, Sam. The next session will be on the 27th of June. And yeah. Um, but thank you, Sam, for like showing your support and everyone else in chat and stuff. Thank you, Casmodius, for being a wonderful DM. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Kaz. Just, just a, a big ooh right there. <laughs> Super excited for the next session. I am. I am so excited. Very excited. Like, yeah. Thank you again for everyone uh, that that hung out. Definitely watching the last hour of the vod because I was off. No worries, Sam. I appreciate that. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for playing. Uh, thank you for hanging out, and I'm glad everyone enjoyed the stream. Bye. Yeah. Bye! Next time!